Shout out to LTTV. Shout out to LTTV. Shout out to the LTTV. Shout out to LTTV. Shout out to LTTV. Shout out to LTTV. Shout out to the LTTV. Shout out to LTTV. <laughs> Damn, son, where'd you find this? My thing is, if you're going to wear a dress for Austin, wear a dress for, for us. You know, if you want to uh, sit here and, and, and shine shoes, shine his shoes, shine shoes over here. I mean, if that's how you're going to do it. But but it's, but it's it's tough Floyd here, and it's Mrs. It's Mrs. Wallace over there. Hey, man, you, you chopping up. I think the roaches are chewing on your, your Colombian Wi-Fi. You there? Yeah, I'm there, man. I said I, I, I'll, I'll change. I'll, we'll, we'll work on changing my ways, all right? Uh, well, I know that's that's your beta way of, of 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 ending an uncomfortable conversation. Just agree with every single point so that it gets to the end, so the pain stops. But uh, I may come back up and give you some more pain. I want this to sizzle. I want the chat to cook you as well. And uh, I may I may come back up. I, I'm I'm not done with you, Floyd. You're disgusting. <laughs> People just. Or just, I don't know. I don't get it. They want me. That's okay. I got it. Hey man, I'm, I'm gonna send you ten dollars for this because I ain't, I don't have nothing nice to say to you. Yeah, LTTV, Blunt Talk with LT, back at it with another video. All right, so let's get right into this one. Oh, okay, so Floyd pretty much deleted this footage. Before we before we get into the deleted footage from Floyd, we're getting we're gonna get into this real quick. Real quick, eight people have died in Colombia, and pretty much Floyd's fan base is trying to make him take heed to all the fuckery that's going on and be a little more aware as he maneuvers through these streets. So let's get into this. Before we get into the deleted clips, because Floyd got embarrassed, and he, he, he immediately took down that live, but really and truly, his fans were really looking out for him. We're going to get into that in a second. It is kind of funny, but it is really true when they're trying to look out for him. So let's get into this clip real quick. Do not use dating. 
Before we get into this clip, shout out to Alicia with jo Hold up, let me pull this up before I start quoting shit without actually getting the right thing. Hold up, chat. Shout out to Alicia with the Day One Blunt Squad membership. I'm getting rich. Ah. Shout out to Alicia. That was before the show. I had to re I had to push back the show. I had to reschedule the show. Hopefully, Alicia still makes it to the show. Shout out to Alicia with the twenty two thirty two. That that's that that's the cash app. That's the amount twenty two dollars thirty two cents. Shout out to Alicia. I'm getting rich. Alicia says, LOL, no idea why I chose this amount. Yeah, it's a, it's a real random amount, but shout out to you, Alicia. W's in the chat for Alicia. I'm getting rich. Ah. All right, so let's get into this chat. Hold up. Who's supposed to hear this shit, nigga? Come on, man. The U.S. Embassy just released a new warning regarding this. This new warning comes after eight American tourists have died under mysterious circumstances. Officials are saying that all of these deaths have one thing in common. The common factor is every single tourist was involved with somebody that they met on a dating app. Criminals will use these dating apps to lure tourists into certain destinations. This has caused a huge influx in crime to American tourists. In fact, crime has risen by 200% last year. Most of these victims are U.S. tourists that were involved in dating apps. U.S. Embassy in Colombia has released a list of tips that will help you avoid crime. Some of these tips include always meet up in public spaces, as well as advise family and friends as to where you're going. If you do become the victim of a robbery, it's best that you do not resist. As of January 2nd, the U.S. State Department also listed Colombia as a level three reconsider travel. If you have any plans on visiting Colombia, make sure you're aware of this information and you remain safe. While crime is on the rise, it may be best to avoid this destination for the time being. Stay safe, stay informed, and follow me for the latest Travel. Okay, so folks are straight up avoiding Colombia at this moment. A lot of passport bros are getting robbed. A lot of folks are mad at passport bros because they're muddying the water f waters for regular folks that just want to go on vacation and they're being mixed up for passport bros and sexual tourists. So a lot of regular folks are mad at them. But let's get into this. You know, I, I'm, 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 I'm disgusted by how you treat your chat. Um, when you were Austin... <laughs> smile like a retard you're, you're chatty patty you know um you're full of engagement but you come to your 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 your, your audience and all you do is beg and um you know you're preoccupied with other dumb shit you know if you sneeze you want us to reimburse you for the toilet paper um you know and it's just disrespect you know like i said i'm gonna send you 10 bucks for this rant but you know, yeah, I I'm just sick of you out here looking like a fool, um, ungroomed, awkward, fucking weirdo, you know. And when you get in front of Austin, and uh, you know, he's he's basically Austin Christ to you. And when you get in front of him, you know, you you adjust your bra, and the shit is just disgusting. So I'm gonna give you ten dollars, you know, um, but you gotta show your, your crowd uh, a lot more respect or even just a, a modicum of respect. You come here yawning, farting, tired. Yeah. I, didn't, boy, I didn't fart, dude. No, I heard you fart, Good god mouth. damn it. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so fucking sick of you passing gas on live. <laughs> anyway, like like I said, you know, it's just, it's just disgusting. Yo, this is absolute filthy work. Oh, yes. The camera loves your nastiness. Now I'm gonna let I'm gonna try to let this play through since this is not really available anywhere oh, since Floyd. Up, oh shit! Yeah, since Floyd deleted the footage, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to let this play through. But he's absolutely cooking Floyd because Floyd will come to his live streams, not cam up, pretty much just dusting it up, begging 24/7, talking about he needs a, a certain limit, but there's no content provided, nothing nothing of substance provided to his audience. So they're mad at him. They're like, you're on Austin stream. You're full of life. You're camming up. You're doing X, Y, and Z. You're putting in work. You're talking about topics. And you give us your ass to kiss, pretty much. That's what the fans are upset about. And, uh, you know, you got to, I'm so I'm so fucking sick of you passing gas on live. Anyway, like like I said, you know, it's just, it's just disgusting. And, uh, you know, you got to understand, man. Motherfuckers is giving you, making sure that you're straight out of pity. Because everyone that's watched you knows that you're a goddamn fool and you keep going, putting yourself in fucked up positions. You don't have the money to do all of this globe trotting. You should have took your ass to the Asians, sat there and tried to figure it out. Or you, should, you know, you shouldn't even left. You should, you, you, to leave the country to live, 
you would need at least five grand and a plan. You don't have shit, and you're hoping that we pity you enough to give you some shit, and all you do is disrespect us. Every time you fucking come across an ex expense, we got to reimburse you like we're your fucking boss or your company. You know, like we gave you fucking, uh, um, what's it called, petty cash or whatever the fuck they give, companies give employees to, hey, sp here's the card, go spend it, and we'll, and we'll pay it. And that's just disrespectful. Cause when Austin is around, man, you you you, you got your mother, you you got your, you, your your best fucking uh church hat on, and you sit. But when it comes to okay, so I'm a rate. I'm gonna put on a rating system. I'm a three or a four. Austin's an eight or a nine. Okay. Stick together. Pause. No, she can have it. Pause. You see what I do when I got the rock pause. Let me just put this in real quick. This is Daniel, pause. by the way. Then you give him all the fucking entertainment he can digest. You change your voice. It's disgusting, Floyd. Well, let me send you this ten dollars, man. I may come back on and you know give you some more motherfucking work, but you're you're pathetic, dog. And 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 it's just it's just sad because you ain't got to be this way. You keep traveling, looking like a homeless fucking vagrant, and you know all of that is deliberate. You don't have to look that way. Grooming? Did you have you bathed since you left uh, Chile? <laughs> Yo! He got his ass cooked. He got cooked. Adrian, you didn't go down like that, huh? He got cooked. When did you, when was the last time you brushed your teeth? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday Keep morning. traveling, looking Yesterday like a homeless morning. fucking vagrant. And, you know, all of that is deliberate. You don't have to look that way. Grooming. Did you, have you bathed since you left uh, Chile? Yeah, I think a shower. I don't believe that. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't believe that. Oh, I mean, you can believe whatever you want, man. So, <laughs> yo, <laughs> this guy got cooked. Let me adjust the volume real quick. This was real bad. What the hell, yo? This is so bad. Like his fans understand that this nigga barely brushes his teeth. He doesn't shower. He doesn't groom himself well. And he's talking about American women are the problem. X, Y, and Z. Every country he goes to, he has complaints. It's looking real bad. He just gets out here as a panhandler. This is panhandling via YouTube. Just begging. It's, 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 it's real sad out here for Floyd. Floyd needs to get it together. He honestly needs, he needs to take the advice of his fans. One of his fans called up in his live stream that he, was, he deleted sh uh, shortly after. It was uh, an hour ago, pretty much. Pretty much instructing him about Colombia and where not to go and how to maneuver. Basically informing him that Cali, Colombia is more dangerous than Medellin, Colombia. And more people are dead or are dying in, in Medellin than actually reported. This eight people dead, that's capped. There's way more than eight passport bros dead. They're, they're dying right left, right, left and center. They're getting robbed. It, it's real bad for them. It's to the point where passport bros are going to Colombia and faking being robbed because it's so believable. It's happening so so prevalent to the point where they're just faking robberies and running up that AdSense for the for the for the views. Pretty much, it's it's real bad out there right now. Passport bros are going out sad, and it's like, okay, if America is so bad, are you guys worried about these type of things in America? You guys go to these these uh South American countries, have all these complaints and concerns for your life and your safety. It's like, was it like this back home? Was it this treacherous? Like, come on, man. Let's get back into this. Man, I don't know what that's about, bro. When you when you get around Austin, I don't know. I, maybe you just feel like you're embedded to him. I think that's what it might be. Like, Austin helped you out, and you, you just want to constantly return the favor and keep that relationship tight. But, bro, I, 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 I remember one time my mic wasn't even raspy, and you were like, hey, your mic. And I'm like... I know Floyd did not just raise his voice at me, but when you get around Austin, bro, you be like, you be you be doing the most you wanna like you wanna please him so bad or or please his viewership, bro. What do you what do you think about that, man? Uh, I think that's a false narrative. I mean, we are friends, but that is a false narrative. And I, I went all his life to show support, and I had nothing else better to do, literally. So I decided to go live to let people know what was going on. On his channel, which is nothing wrong with that, really. Uh, as far as yelling your voice, I apologize. I shouldn't have did that. All right, I should. I apologize. I apologize. You right? Yeah, yeah. You don't gotta apologize. I'm just. Get, I'm slightly giving you a hard time. Like I said, I'm not as funny as Rampage, but um, let me tell you, you got. You cannot, for you cannot 
um, get an apartment on any first floor in South America, period, because you will get cockroaches. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's like this guy is trying to sell consultations to folks via because he's traveling. He's an experienced traveler, but yet he has his callers in instru callers calling in, instructing him of how to move and what not to do and what to do via when when you're uh, traveling uh, through these countries. So this is very bad for him. Very, very bad. This is a terrible look. This is no wonder why he deleted the footage, but we got it. It is what it is. And that's what I got going on here now, actually. There is no common ground. Don't ask me that. Now, there is some, like, gaps in the footage because I was trying to record this live because I knew he would delete this. I was looking at this. I'm like, this is such a terrible look. He's going to delete this. But if I come on my platform and start narrating what happened, giving y'all a description of who said what and what happened, it's not really believable. And I just got to be out here like, I've seen him do it. And that, that, that's, not, that's not cutting it. So we had to steal the footage. It is what it is. We had to get the footage before he deleted that shit because, you know what it is? It is what it is, man. Gotcha, bitch. Question. I don't where are you from in the United States? Yeah, where am I from in the United States? I'm from Texas. How about that? I mean, that sounds like common sense. If a person asks yeah, you where I'm from, you're from, I'm from, I'm from Texas. I, I, I'm a climber from Texas, so I'm from Texas. Okay. I mean, that's simple as that. Are, are you doing okay? I'm Mentally, chilling, are buddy. You, are you doing okay? I'm chilling. What's going on? I'm. Ch I mean, I'm trying to figure out, just like everyone else. There's a quite a bit followers of yours, subscribers. We're concerned for you, man. No, you're not concerned. No, yes, hundred percent. No, We're concerned no. for you. I'm I'm doing fine, buddy. I got it figured out. I'm doing all right. Okay. So, anything else? No, I I can just tell that you you just you gonna have to learn on your own. I just hope it does, that it doesn't cost you your life. To be honest, that's what yeah, that's the does. main concern. We we hope that it doesn't cost you your life, buddy. Sounds Honestly. like a threat. Sounds like huh? a threat, buddy. You. Want what he said that sounds like a threat he's like no bro you're moving so stupid you're lacking awareness in how you're moving in these streets you're dating all these hookers and you're acting like there's some tour guides it's like bro what are we doing out here it's so obvious so it's like he's hoping that you stay alive and this guy's like is that a threat it's like my nigga this is why you lack awareness you're a goddamn idiot if you don't get that bullshit out of my face bitch it doesn't cost you your life to be honest that's what yeah, that's the main concern we don't we hope that it doesn't cost you your life, buddy. Sounds Honestly. like a threat. Sounds like huh? a threat, buddy. You wanna no, you wanna come over do you wanna come over and do something to me or what? No, you're already doing it to yourself. You're self destructing yourself. <laughs> Goodbye. Fuck all my shit. That's why I knew you're to my go in the club. You the type of nigga to set a person up. <laughs> Fuck off my shit, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who the fuck do you think you are threatening us? talking about you ain't going live what what, do, what what effect do you think that has on anybody in here's life you know that that's cutting your nose off to spite your face you need to cut that dumb shit out that shit don't mean nothing to us we'll go to another fucking channel oh, I, I, <laughs> yo <laughs> yo shout out to black rampage too because this motherfucker came in and he was cooking <laughs> shout out to this nigga this nigga yo what the hell yo bars man in here's life. Okay. Who the fuck do you think you are threatening us talking about you ain't going live? What what do what, what effect do you think that has on anybody in here's life? Yo, this guy just came in like, yo. Shut your bitch ass up before I get to talking shit about you. This guy, Floyd, really threatened his audience like he's not gonna go live anymore if you don't get these donations and these super chats, these cash apps. Full panhandling mode, and this nigga's like, "Are you fuck? Are you fuck, nigga? Are you dumb? You fucking forgot, my nigga. There's there's millions of streamers out here. We'll check for somebody else, nigga. You better shut your bitch ass up and provide the content. Type shit like this shit. I'm sorry, y'all. This shit is hilarious to me. You know that that's cutting your nose off to spite your face. You need to cut that dumb shit out. That shit don't mean nothing to us. We'll go to another fucking channel. No, I'm I'm not gonna go live. Oh, I'm only gonna go live. You're right about that." 
Man, who the what, what, what the fuck is your problem, man? Motherfuckers sit here and dedicate their time to you. Their view is all they owe you. This, this this other shit is icing on the cake, and you're sitting here talking shit, acting like you are a fucking pappy. Have you lost your mind? You know, and the way the way you you're such an eager and and gleeful flunky for for Austin is disgusting. Sitting there smiling, showing every tooth in your goddamn head, and then you took another fucking freakazoid picture with both your thumbs up when you got to Cali. What the fuck? This shit is sad and pathetic to see. And it's like you don't have a backbone. When Floyd's around, you grow a vagina. And it's and it's like, why the fuck would I support a man who ain't gonna be a man every day of his life? Holy God. Yo, he meant to say Austin, but he said when Austin's around, you grow a vagina. Bro, this man is cooking the living shit out of this guy. Holy fuck, yo. He got his ass cooked. Hey, he got cooked. Hey, you didn't go down like that, huh? He got cooked. When, when, when Austin is around, it's like a, you, you, you put a dress on and that shit is crazy. And it's always my buddy Austin, my buddy Austin. I don't go off my buddy Austin. And it's like, does he do? Normal men don't talk like that to other men. Do you get that? Yeah. That, that, I get that, that, that live you did with you with your pom-poms on and you put on, you, you had your, 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 your shiniest lip gloss you could find <laughs> just to sit there and pucker up to Austin. That shit is disgusting. And I'm not an Austin hater. I respect what the young man is doing. I got nothing to love for him. Shiniest lip gloss you can find just to sit there and pucker up to Austin. That shit is disgusting. And I'm not an Austin hater. I respect what the young man is doing. I got nothing but love for Austin's channel. But to sit there, because it's never Batman and Superman. Y'all ain't super friends. And y'all ain't, you gotta, you gotta. Now, yo, the, 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 the recording, the footage got cut off there. He said, you ain't even Batman and Robin. You ain't even Batman and Alfred. I was dead, but the recording got cut off there. But, bro, Floyd is getting victimized out here. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, see this is bad, man. This is bad. I've seen him do it. A very bad habit of just easily dismissing people, you know, because what you'll do is instead of offering any type of resistance, you'll just agree. And then at that point, the conversation's over. It's like, okay, uh, you're right about that. And then it's like, nah, but the, the motherfuckers are sick of giving you this type of medicine. I want to root for you, Floyd, but you're becoming unlikable with this always, every time you meet an expense, every time anything comes your way, you come to us with your motherfucking uh, tin cup out. God, damn. And then at that point, the conversation's over. It's like, okay, uh, you're right about that. And then it's like, nah, but the, the motherfuckers are sick of giving you this type of medicine. I want to root for you, Floyd, but you're becoming unlikable with this. Jesus Christ, his own fan base. They want to root for him, and he's not taking any of the advice because this was yesterday or two days ago now. No, this was yesterday. This took place yesterday. Floyd went on live, what, an hour ago? Still in panhandling mode, still asking for money. Oh, we can't. We got to end this live, but we need forty more dollars. Someone sent him twenty dollar cash app. He's like, um, that that doesn't count. We need it. Uh, v. Oh no, he. Someone sent him twenty dollars. Um, super chat. He said that doesn't count. We need it via cash app, meaning he needs the money right now. He was staying on live until he got forty dollars. It was pathetic. It was sad. It was the most moribund performance i've ever seen on a live the nigga said nothing he wasn't telling any he wasn't sharing any details about cali or anything the dates he was going on just yeah i need the 40 dollars bro dark room no camera on for out for it was just like yo this is pathetic bro Always, every time you meet an expense, every time anything comes your way, you come to us with your motherfucking uh, tin cup out, talking about, governor, governor, can I have another? People sick of that shit. You a man, dog. It's, and, 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 Yo, his fan base is literally saying, crying to me, and I'm not having that. A tin cup out, talking about, governor, governor, can I have another? People sick of that shit. You a man, dog. It's, and, and, and it costs money to be a man. You talk this red pill bullshit, but you don't live that shit.
It's facts. This guy's spitting. Like he want he wants the, these these passport bros act. They're they're literally acting like they're shitting on folks that are still in their country dealing with the women, talking about their women are so insufferable. They're balling. They're living life, traveling all over the world. Meanwhile, you're struggling. You're dusting it up and begging for your your subscribers and your fan base to carry you from country to country to pay your rent, pay your expenses. And it's not like, oh, you're expecting them to do it by putting out content because this is your job as a YouTuber. You're going to get paid for your, your content. And you're, you're making your money via AdSense mixed in with uh, the cash apps and the support from your fan base, your memberships, etc. No, it's you ain't putting out content. You're no longer doing that. You're going live and you're just begging. It's like, and then you're going on Austin's platform and providing content. It's, it's real pathetic. And I'm just sick of seeing it because you can do better. You don't have to be so goddamn pathetic. You choose to be this way. You huh? out, you out living your life. You a young man. You ain't got no kids, but you doing shit fucked up. You are depending on the kindness of strangers. You are not unlike a fucking bum. What's the difference between you and the motherfuckers that be begging on Salvation Army on Christmas? Nothing. God, damn. hey guys, uh, I just came across this. And do you plan to reimburse the motherfucker? When they reimburse you, are you going to reimburse your donators and be like, hey, man, I got my money back. We square. Hell no. Yup. Yup. That... The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Hell no. Trash ass nigga. Now, this motherfucker expects folks to believe that he's going to reimburse his fan base for cash apps, super chats, and all the donations that they're giving him. Like, bro, who the... Who you lying to, son? Who in the fuck is believing that bullshit? How are you even tra- Like, that's- Man, stop the goddamn cap. You're a content creator, man. I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm from around the way. I'm leaving with something. To try to get that lie off, it's like, bro, this is pathetic. You're trying to not get barred down. You're trying to find something, some wiggle room to not get cooked. And it's like, bro, nobody believes that. Like, come on, man. What are we doing out here? I just came across this. And do you plan to reimburse the motherfucker? When they reimburse you, are you going to reimburse your donators and be like, hey, man, I got my money back. We square. Hell no. Yup. Yup. That's y'all plan on doing that. When I get the money back from the airline, you'll get it all back. Oh, man, if you don't get the fuck out of here, you know you need that. <laughs> well, that just because I need something don't mean I won't reimburse. Listen, you, you, you make no No, I'll make it all out. No, I already said that this form of other line, and I said I wouldn't want to get the money back. I wouldn't reimburse. I said that in the airport, actually. So I definitely missed that because I'd be yeah. I'd be trying to miss some of that shit because I don't be trying. I don't I don't need the the motherfucking headache because I'm sitting here supporting, doing the best I can. <clears throat> excuse me, to make sure that a young brother ain't out there stranded. But you make it hard, and 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 again, everything you do, you do it the imbecile way. <laughs> And I'm like, damn, how did she even figure out to fuck this up? <laughs> like, when you ran up and videotaped that fucking uh, beatdown in the airport, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yo, the beatdown in the airport. Let me timestamp this real quick before we get back into this roasting, because this nigga roasting the shit out of him. The beatdown in the airport. We're going to react to that shortly, too. This guy chased down some folks, and he got involved in some shit. He had no business being involved, and he has no idea what the people are saying to him. He got cussed by a lady who actually knows how to speak English, but people are making all sorts of comments around him, and he has no idea what the fuck they're saying because he doesn't know the language, and he's acting a damn fool in public like it's America. Like, bro, you don't know where you are. Relax. Understand the, 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 the surroundings around you before you start acting a fool, but let's get into this. You do it the imbecile way. And I'm like, damn, how did you even figure out to fuck this up? Like, when you ran up and videotaped that fucking uh, beat down in the airport, what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you completely oblivious to, to, to the situation? You look like a fucking... Man, and again, you, you, you recorded the beat up, you had it running with, the, with, the, with, with their security, and then the actual law enforcement, was it even fucking worth it? I mean, was it was, was it even worth? You know how that how quickly that could have turned the other way, just because you want to run up and be in the mix for what? Nothing wrong with you filming it. Yo, you hear this guy? There's nothing wrong with filming it, bro. Mess your dumb ass down. It, 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 it served no purpose. It's just you not reading social cues. You already look homeless, 
they already have they're already racist and colorist and you fit every fucking stereotype visually and you just want to get in the mix in front, in front of motherfuckers that you don't even speak the language you don't even know what they're saying around you use your fucking brain yeah you're right right of course i'm right i'm right about that right <laughs> Well, I already told you what my plans were today, so we're gonna we're gonna and, get and it And again, off. and again, you you got Papa John's pizza today? Yeah, it was like fifty and, bucks. You know, you, 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 right, right, right. See, this is what I'm saying. Because when it's Austin, you'll tell you'll tell Austin what the toppings were. You'll tell him how many bites it took to for per slice. But when it's us, you have nothing. You want to take out the trash. You want to complain about roaches that we didn't put there. You know? <laughs> don't complain about roaches. Yo, this guy. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> you tell him how many bites it took to for per slice. But when it's us, you have nothing. You want to take out the trash. You want to complain about roaches that we didn't put there. You know these these Airbnbs. They have reviews and all this other shit. You always go for the for the cheap way out. Right? What the fuck is wrong with these passport bros? He goes to the cheap way out. Sixteen dollar. Airbnb with roaches, first floor in the apartment, bro. What are we doing out here? This is what I'm saying. These passport bros are going out sad as fuck. And this is what I'm talking about. Folks always think that I'm against travelers when it comes to this passport bro shit. It's like my nigga, hell no, I got a passport. I travel too, but we go into the goddamn resorts. Venture off into the city here and there, but come on, man. <laughs> and then you want us to come and reimburse you. Now, now you had a, you had Papa John's. How was it? This is conversation you could have with the man. Oh, it was right pretty all right. It wasn't that bad, bro. I mean, can it they could make be better? Can they make pizza in South America? I mean, this is shit you yeah, can talk they about. Could. They can make they, I'm, I'm, uh, they can make pizza in South America. Is it? Was it good? You know, this, I'm giving you ideas to have. Everything is a conversation, but you won't even talk to us. But you'll show Austin your whole motherfucking butt crack if you come over here. And, and, Yo. <laughs> Stick together. Pause. And, and, and it's big fuck y'all. Hey, pay me. It's fuck you, pay me when you come to us. Oh, I mean, so that's, that's not what I'm saying, man. Nah. Oh, okay. No. My thing is, if you're going to wear a dress for Austin, wear a dress for, for us. You know, if you want to uh, sit here and, and, and shine shoes, shine his shoes, shine shoes over here. <laughs> You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. Ooh. My thing is, if you're going to wear a dress for Austin, wear a dress for, for us. You know, if you want to uh, sit here and, and, and shine shoes, shine his shoes, shine shoes over here. I mean, if that's how you're going to do it. But but it's but it's, it's tough Floyd here, and it's Mrs. It's Mrs. Wallace over there. So that, that's all I'm saying, man. Think about think about where your bread is buttered, man. You know, mm -hmm. and, and you're, you're just, you're... you're your your the way you bow and kowtow to him when you don't even have to call oh, out I'll, I'll be there if you are you're my buddy austin my buddy austin i'm happy to be you change the way you talk just to sit in front of it's just it's crazy but when it comes to okay so i'm a ray i'm gonna put on a rating system i'm a three or a four austin's an eight or a nine okay stick together Pause. And I'm just giving you a heads up. I'm probably the, the most the, the voice of reason over here. Cut it out. All right, I'll cut it out. Hey man, you you chopping up? I think the roaches are chewing on your your Colombian Wi-Fi. You there? It's just, it's crazy. And I'm just giving you a heads up. I'm probably the, the most, the, the voice of reason over here. Cut it out. All right, I'll cut it out. Now, Floyd just wants the bleeding to stop. He's just saying anything to agree. He said, all right, I'll cut it out. The lie detector test determined that was a lie.
He finished his live just over an hour ago. He was still in full panhandler mode, begging it up. What are we talking about, bro? You were you were begging on your last live, talking about you need forty dollars more. Then it was eighteen dollars more. Then you were saying the, the 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 super chats were void. You needed cash apps, bro. What are we doing out here? You didn't stop shit. Yeah, that's brother starving. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hey man, you you chopping up? I think the roaches are chewing on your your Colombian Wi-Fi. You there? Yeah, I'm there, man. I said I I'll, I'll, I'll change. I'll, we'll, we'll work on changing my ways. All right. Uh, well, I know that's that's your beta way of, of 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 ending an uncomfortable conversation. Just agree with every single point so that it gets to the end, so the pain stops. But. Uh, I may come back up and give you some more pain. I want this to sizzle. I want the chat to cook you as well. And uh, I may I may come back up. I, I'm I'm not done with you, Floyd. You're disgusting. <laughs> All right, now do your thing. Nah. You're disgusting. I, I may come back up and give you some more pain. I, I want this to sizzle. I want the chat to cook you as well. And uh, I may I may come back up. I'm I'm not done with you, Floyd. You're disgusting. Yo, I want an idiot to come into the chat, following this stream, talking about oh that fo that that caller didn't cook him. What are you talking about? Oh, he wasn't cooked. It's like, bro, shut the hell up. Cause I know someone's gonna say it. I I know. From right now, beforehand, there's there's gonna be one idiot that says that. What are we talking about? This guy cooked the living shit out of this motherfucker. What are we, yo? What are we talking about out here? Holy! I may come back up and give you some more pain. I, I want this to sizzle. I want the chat to cook you as well. And uh, I may I may come back up. I, I'm I'm not done with you, Floyd. You're disgusting. <laughs> All right, now do your thing. People are just, people are just, oh no. Oh. Bro, the man is crying right now. The man is crying. You hear this comment right here? Damn, he's crying. What we heard right now is him weeping. He had to take a second. All we hear is, <sighs> we're like, wait, what the fuck are we hearing right now? And is this motherfucker crying? So I had to record again. So I missed a few seconds of this, but he was doing this for seconds, bruh. Hold up. People just, people are just. Crying to me and I'm not having Bro, you're whoring yourself out for Snapchat or for why is he saying Snapchats? What the fuck, man? You are whoring yourself out for Cash Apps, Super Chats, PayPal's, Venmos, Zells, whatever you're collecting. You're literally oh ten dollars. I right, you can roast me. Okay, you're gonna send a super chat. I right, you gonna talk shit. I'm gonna read it. It's like it's pathetic at this point, bro. It, it's real bad. You gotta really at this point. I'm not even giving more advice because he ain't gonna follow shit. Let's get back into this, man. Oh, no. I don't get it. They won't leave. That's okay. I got it. No, I'm depressed because this shit is annoying. But you know what? Fuck that. Men can't have feelings, so. Just got to thug it out. <sighs> I got it. No, I'm depressed because this shit is annoying. We have a depressed passport, bro. Are you kidding me? The passport, bro, who's living lavish, escaping the, the fuckery of American women. The ghettoness, the ratchetness, the belonging to the streets, the, the lack of femininity, the aggression. They're escaping that. They're traveling the world. They're happy. But Floyd, Floyd is dusting it up and depressed. What in the hell is that? Shout out to the Great Pill Podcast. We got the Great Pill Podcast in the back. Now, yeah, I'm going to bring you on right now. See, the last time I brought up Grey Pill, Grey Pill had some information that definitely added to the stream. So, oh, no, shit, what the fuck is going on? You see what? My bad. I'm, I'm always hitting the wrong drops. What the fuck was that? All right, yo, shout out to the Grey Pill.
what, what do you got today, Great Pal? Oh, no, I just came to laugh at the situation. It's Floyd, <laughs> man. Um, I, I will say this, this because uh, something stuck in my brain, because I always hear a lot of women keep saying there's never no men in those spaces that always hold other men accountable. So there you go, ladies. You got a man holding another man accountable all the time, every day, all day, in 4K. <laughs> Now you hear that because they want they want more men to join in. They know there's men holding other men accountable on the platform. They see it every day. So it's it's, it's like it's a deflective tactic. Like there's men on the outside of me, outside of you, there's many men on this platform holding other dudes accountable. There's just a lot of other dudes caping for men and not holding them accountable as well. There there is a lot of that. So I'm not going to gaslight these 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 folks. But yeah, there is that. So you just came here to laugh at this reaction? Hey, it's Floyd. Yeah, it's for it. I, I got a lot too. Um, you get cool points for um getting that clip though, cause um I didn't know he delete a lot of his stuff, so this is like the first I'm hearing about it. So. Yeah, I think following a few of my reactions, he started deleting stuff because he's like, this is bad. From that time when the, the he he was sad over that girl that um left him. Hold on, I'm trying to adjust this camera real quick. There there was the a girl that left. Him, like a little rose too, a little flower rose. He went on one date with her. I don't even I don't remember the date fully, but he went on one date and he was like, oh, that's my girlfriend. She broke up with me and now I'm sad and X, Y and Z. And he did an entire stream on that. And I'm like, bro, what part of the game is this? Like, what do you, these passport bros are tripping? And he's he's damaging the brand more than anybody I've ever seen in the passport bros. Honestly, I don't know what kind of brain he got, though, because like at least at least with Austin, it, it started off to the like, like, let me just hate on a selective type of black, um, just a selective type of woman. And then it went to all women. And he's like, hey, let me leave the States, do my thing. So at least he was going in the direction. He was like working towards something, even though a lot of people like knew it was for like the grip and hustle, which is fine. But he put like a little pretty bow on it with all, with uh, Floyd. It was just everything just so wrong. The way he moved, the way he speak, the way he carry himself. Hell, even when I saw the video of him just walking down the, air, the airlines, everything he was talking about just... <laughs> The, the the box the girl what she looked like even the camera like he couldn't just have a con like all the uh the advice the guy was giving him was 100 percent i've seen people not passport bro just ex-path guy just, they'll just walk straight with the camera they're not like showing some like some perverse shit like hey i see a girl booty let me put the camera over there and yep. talk. It, it was so weird so cringy so do you know what know. do you know what he did he w he deleted it out of a stream. He took the stream down for a second, and then he edited it, and then you could see there's a weird jump cut. It was when he was in um, he was in Sao Paulo, Brazil. He was walking mm -hmm. down the street. He was saying random comments to to women, and then he said something to a girl that was on her phone, and he was like basically trying to say hi, and she ignored him. And he's like, "All right, fuck you then." And then his crowd, his chat went in on him. They're like, "What the fuck you doing, bro? She doesn't understand you. She's on the phone. You're saying fuck you then." This man's acting a goddamn fool. We even have I have more footage that I'm about to react to of him acting a fool in the in the airport, cussing some black guy because he was standing in front of him when he was trying to cold approach a random uh girl that worked at the airport. Like Floyd does the most asinine things on camera he will literally walk around with his dgi see a girl walking by show her ass basically look at it and then he'll walk up to other girls and be like hey follow me on youtube they'll take his youtube follow him on youtube and then he'll go into his house and start begging and he's like yo you solicit attention from women to see you beg in a dark screen and you like make it make sense the man is he just so unaware of what the hell he's doing Oh shit, we got a Have you heard job. of um uh Johnny Savalia? Uh yeah, he sorry, was man. the one that was in Japan acting a goddamn fool. Uh let me get to the super chat real quick. Shout out to Samantha with the twenty dollar super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. Samantha says, Let's go, Detroit Lions. Shout out to Detroit Lions. Uh yeah, they got their first playoff win since like nineteen fifty something. So shout out to the Lions. I think the Lions have a good chance, but um yeah, I don't. I don't think they'll win the the, the Super Bowl, even if they make it past. Uh, who are the Lions playing? San Francisco and Brock Purdy and them. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's uh, it's kind of steep for the Lions, but yeah, shout out to the Lions. Shout out to Samantha. Yeah, he's gonna be. Floyd's gonna be the next Johnny uh, Salami. So he's, you think he's gonna get arrested and locked up? Because isn't yeah, Johnny Salami? He's, he's well, like, we, well, everybody is it's a, 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 a Somalia, whatever pronounced, but everybody calls Salami. Just like the uh, the jokes or whatever, but yeah, he's he just actually he did he did whatever time he did they censored him, so they're actually deporting him back to the states with a 
uh, Lee can pretty much confirm this one. I think it was like twelve hundred to sixteen hundred dollar fine. Like mm-hmm. it's a little bit under fifteen hundred, but that's a slap on the on the that's wrist. That's a that's a slap on the wrist. Seeing the things that he's done and he's in Japan doing these things actively, fucking with people. I thought he would have served some time and kept them in there, but he's lucky he's not I was in hoping China. So. If he was yeah, in I was China, so. it would have been yeah. way different for him. But this is Honestly, the thing about Mexico and Philippines. I don't care. This is the thing that I, I see about Floyd that is so egregious. He'll be he'll be walking with one of his uh, tour guides, you know, one of his girl tour guides, and he'll be on a date with them. He'll bring, he'll go back to their crib. He'll be like, "All right, I'm ending the live. I don't want y'all to see where she lives." He'll put down the camera and then bring it back up, and then we'll see where she lives. And I'm like, "Bro, you're going to the apartment. You're showing the number. You're showing everything." I'm like, "What are you doing, bro?" And he does that to his own place too. And it's like when these commenters or your fans are getting at you and they're yelling at you, you really need to listen. You can't consult anybody. You can't pay for. You're not going to charge anybody for a consultation when your fans need to direct you and tell you what to do. At this point, wrap that shit up and that. Like he needs to. Re- he needs to. He needs to hit the drawing board. He needs to speak to O'Shea yo, I, or something. I actually like his chat, yo, because his chat like the only ones be like, yo. As soon as he say anything wrong or do anything wrong, his chat be on him. <laughs> <laughs> I love his chat, yo. I love it. I think he, he kind of purposely keeps his channel like that, but the way he's acting depressed, it's like you can't purposely be doing this and then be sad, crying, and be depressed on your stream. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. It's, it's a bit weird when I'm trying to analyze what these folks are doing. I, sometimes I think that he's just lost. So when I'm trying to analyze it and trying to get a good perspective of what the vision is, there is no vision. So it's like, what am I doing? Mental illness, LT. Mental illness. <laughs> That's all this is right here, man. Mental illness. You see somebody doing stuff, they know they, they I don't know, man. I, I see an angle, and I don't want to put it on um on Austin so much, but I saw what, what the angle Austin was trying to do. Like, hey, let me get one under my wing, let me show him the right way. And then maybe that could be like a um, another like a gimmick of let me sell courses, so to speak, for Austin. That yeah. could be one. But Floyd is like the worst representation of what Austin tried to do for a person. The yep. worst. See, Austin worst. listens to criticism in a way where he will try, he'll make changes. Sometimes he shouldn't listen to certain criticism because it steers him off his direction and it's like, what, what are we watching anymore? But outside of that, like, he, he kind of takes heed a little bit. He's trying to evolve his platform. He's trying to stay alive on the platform. I see he's trying everything. He's, he's doing cons- consultations. He's selling a book. He's doing memoirs. He's really he's doing everything he possibly can, but at least memoirs. he's he's providing some sort of content. So as much as I criticize Austin, it's not nearly as bad as Floyd. Floyd is just it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it definitely changed from the beginning because everybody labeled him as one thing. Which I, and this is my mindset with Austin, right? Like I I still see him on the like let me do the pandering slash grip, let me keep the narrative on what it was. He toned down a lot of that, but he's been more focused on uh, trying to work on a brand, which I see. And it was something uh, Zoom to Thailand said, which I agree with this one also, like, hey, he's in his early 20s, so I'm trying to like, hey, learn and figure saying things out while I'm over the country. But I don't think he's been there long enough to learn anything. I don't care if you are like your early 20s. The moment you leave from state, just state to state to town to town, because everybody's always representing there. Like I represent Jersey, you represent uh, Canada. You know your town better than I know it, right? Yep. So if you're giving us a suggestion on it, that should be the same attitude Austin should have since he left out of the country. Each different place, I think he should stay there longer to get so much of experience. But the downside is always focus on the women. It's always focused on the women. Focus on the food, fo- focus on the culture. I think he would get more of a different audience. And then he kind of like sneak into like the women a little bit because there's a lot of content creators that do that. They have some like a beautiful woman here beautiful woman there and they'll just speak knowledge drop some gems yeah. but unfortunately he, he he's a learn he's a work in progress but floyd a whole nother uh conversation yeah i think if they were i think they should why but the, he watches check and effects videos so he should try to learn from check and effect a little bit learn from kurt kaz learn from some of the travelers that are a little more successful they tried speaking to him it was it was zoom one of them because he kind of like low-key kind of um threw him on the bus because He's supposed to have a collaboration with the one time, but I think Zoom went to him and then Austin like dip and they brought it up and then Austin came back. Cause like he was with them. They had that little gatherings. Zoom had brought all the OGs. This actually they consider themselves passport roles in that little space. Yeah. So they was all over there doing everything. So he he got the tools. He has people that can like, you know, reach out to him and talk to him, explain stuff with. So 
it depends on how you want to take it. I'm going to share this screen and see if you can actually react to this. Because I generally have issues when I try to do a group reaction and have everything on the screen. So well, let me set this up real quick and see if this works. Can you see the, the video on the screen? Yeah, I can see it on my end. Okay. I'm watching the YouTube and Brother Jumpy sent the uh, Super Chat. Oh, shit. Let me pull that up real quick. Let me play this in the back and see if this works. See if you can see if you can hear this as well. But you know what? Fuck that. Med can't happen like so. Just got to thug it out. We just got to thug it out. I'm tired. Shit. Just got to thug it out. That's all. Great, Poe. Can you hear that? Mm-mm. Fuck, man. That's good, man. I, I, yeah, I hate that. I, I got to fix that, though, because I want to I wanna add these type of reactions. Everybody's doing this shit on StreamYards, and I'm dusting it up, struggling on my video. Like, I got to really fix that shit. But if you want to call back later after I get through this reaction, that'll be, um, uh, you know, we, we'll, we'll, we'll welcome that, uh, the call in. But, yeah, shout out to you for calling in. But, yeah, if we want to form a panel, you want to call back in after this. Because I want to get through some of this. Yeah, hey, go ahead and get busy, man. All right, cool, bro. All right, sorry, man. I'm I'm kind of struggling to get this super chat up on the screen. Hold up, brother Jumby. Shout out to brother Jumby. Stay Gold Radio. Hey, yo, how come it's not working? Oh, there we go. I'm getting rich. Ah. Shout out to Brother Jumby, Stay Gold Radio with that $10 super chat. Brother Jumby says, been telling y'all about them passport bros and their bromo sexual shenanigans abroad. <laughs> but these the same goofies that look for love abroad from hookahs. Floyd a power bottom with booty lab Whoa. Booty labia. Pause. Jesus Christ. Booty labia. Shout out to Brother Jumby with the $10 super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. Oh shit. I got to stop sharing this. God damn video dusting it up. Hold up chat. Let me hit y'all with some elevator music real quick. All right, let's get it. So, just got to thug it out. We just got to thug it out. I'm tired. Just got to thug it out. That's all. The par. 2720p. I'll catch if I could. Let's get back into that crying moment real quick before we get into him and the... the uh... The airport. Hold on, we didn't fully bask in this moment of this motherfucker breaking down and crying. Check the cookie as well, and uh, I may I may come back up. I, I'm I'm not done with you, Floyd. You're disgusting. All right, now do your thing. People just, people are just, oh no. I don't get it. They want me. That's okay. I got it. No, I'm depressed because this shit is annoying. But you know what? Fuck that. Med can't happen like so. Just got to thug it out. We just got to thug it out. I'm tired. Just got to thug it out. That's all. The 
Now, I had Brother Jumbie's super chat in the way, but I hope y'all could see what they were saying in the chat. They were ch telling him to go to bed, you still begging, grow up, be a man. All these things in the chat cooking this man. Nobody felt sorry for him. Somebody said get a job. It is real bad out here. It is real bad. Because you can't complain about women and their lack of femininity, and then you be a, become a passport bro travel globally complain about every country that you're in and then show a lack of masculinity it, it just looks real bad it looks like the problem is you and you know wherever you go there you are type shit are 2720p oh cash if i code approach how much how much you gonna cash out how much you, how much you gonna cash out if i you hear him? As soon as I start the video, how much you gonna cash app? As soon as, so he's in the airport showing them some footage now. Actually providing some content, some footage. And the first thing he goes to is, how much you gonna cash app? Just begging it up. It's like, bro, relax, man. Relax. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir. <laughs> Code approach. What's going on over there? Something going on over there. Ten dollars. Fuck it. I'm a code approach. Let's see what's going on over there. I'm trying to figure out who the code approach. His bitch ass nigga. So he just called this motherfucker a bitch ass nigga because he stood in front of somebody that he thought he was gonna cold approach. Let's see what's going on over there. I'm trying to figure out who the code approach. His bitch ass nigga. Now imagine this guy actually understood what he said. It's like, bruh, it, this would have been bad, man. What are we doing out here for no reason? This bitch ass nigga. If he understood English, you man. Are they fighting over there? Hold on. Like they, like they fight over there. Oh, shit. Hold up, I'm in the way. Hold up, chat. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm in the way. Let me move this real quick. Let me... Yeah, let me write it right there. Hey. I ain't gonna do he about to go. It's a Ethan versus Sparrow. This guy's up close and personal into this fight. Okay. Oh, no, no. Yep. 
No, puede ser que no haya una seguridad, una policía acá. Estamos matando. Acá que la ruedita, chicas, no sé ahora. Sí, ojalá, tranquilo, señor. Stay off the weed. You want to sit there and stay on the weed. When does crack... Now, so the cocaine's happening. When does that crack come into play? Now, y'all have to read the comment on the screen. Who was on crack? All right. This guy's fucked. Are you dumb? 50% of gay men? Bro, are you high, bro? Are you on meth? What substance are you on? Did we get a witness of him uh, of him doing this crack? What in the hell are you on? 50% of men, period, on the planet can't fuck with me. What the hell are you talking about? So 50% of the gay men... Nigga, I would like to see you bring up anybody that wants to squabble. Boxing. MMA, you pick what art form, they'll get clapped. What the fuck are we talking about? I'm mopping all these niggas. This dumbass comment in my comment section. If you don't get this bullshit out of my face, bitch. If you don't get that bullshit out of my face, bitch. We got the gay authority. The top person of the LGBTQ, the, t the number one representative, their ambassador in the channel. In the comment section, speaking of speaking on behalf of fifty percent of these gay dudes. What are you doing, CBP channel? This is some filthy work, bruh. This is some filthy work. This comment, pair that with the last comment. I'm here to double down. That shit is a, a true pack of ass. The fuck are you talking about? That shit stinks. Man, bring them on, man. Bring them on. He's y'all. Y'all are probably lost at that comment. This guy's. This man. Man. Hello. Oh, did LGBTQ plus mean like is it the premium version of gay? <laughs> what? What a minute! Ah <laughs> oh, shit! Here we go again. This guy wanted me to have a moment. He wanted me to have a cancelable moment. He wanted me to say something that is is so egregious to the LGBT community. It's like, bro, you said fifty percent of gay men could beat me in a fight. It is not homophobic to say that they can get these hands, my nigga. What the fuck are we talking about? 50% of men, it doesn't matter what type. 50%, they, they, man, come, come, come sign them up for these hands. What the fuck are we talking about? I like to fight. It's fun. I tr Like, what are we talking about, my nigga? Like, come on. <laughs> I don't discriminate. I don't discriminate. Gay folks can fight too. There's gay folks fighting and, and training in MMA gyms. They can get these hands too, nigga. Pause. I don't give a fuck, man. Y'all are tripping. Y'all are tripping. It's not a hate crime if somebody thinks they, they can fuck with me and they can get these hands, man. The fuck? <laughs> Omega, come on, stop. Movie in. So yo like go side on. Oh. What the hell was that? What? <laughs> yo, what the fuck, man? <laughs> oh. 
bien callado como quiere. Uh, bonita mujer. Uh, ¿Cómo está? Bueno, bueno, bueno. Bueno. Let me go back. Let me go. Excuse me. Let me go back out here. I ain't got nothing else bad to do, so. I did code approach and didn't work, so. Let me go back out here and film this. What is bro doing? This man's all up in the mix. Like you're at the airport. You trying to get part you trying to be part of this situation? I code approach to you, so donate that ten dollars to the cash out. Wrong time. No, this guy's talking about cold approach. Sir, they work here. They're trying to handle a situation. They're trying to make sure everything is, is you know, in check. And this motherfucker is trying to cold approach the workers. It's like, bro, what if... What the... Fuck that wrong time, bro. You said cold approach. You didn't tell me what time to do it. If you lie to me, I'll ban you. If you, if you lie to me, I'll ban you. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, hey, no. Calm down. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Oh, hey, bro, you're on his neck, bro. You might want to get off his neck. Holy, I didn't know he did all this. Bro. Yeah, Floyd, this is not America, bro. They'll use that force, man. Damn. He's not even a police officer. This is just airport security. He wants to help him. He ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just filming. I ain't a witness to a crime, bro. I'm just here filming. Don't, I, don't involve me. I'm just filming. I believe this is when he was in Santiago, Chile, before he left to go to uh, Cali, Colombia. He was in Brazil prior to that, but he, he linked up with Austin and Chile, and then he was he went to Colombia. And folks were warning him against Colombia. He was scared. He was shook. He didn't want to go. He was nervous as shit about going to Colombia. So I'm like, why go then, bro? What's the point? I don't I don't understand it. His favorite place is Thailand or the Philippines. I can't remember which one of the two, but he likes it in Asia much better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't leave when you donate. How about that? TOS, you're banned if you don't donate, bro. Now he's banning people from the chat if they don't donate. Every single second of his stream, donate, hit the cash app, hit the Zelle, whatever. This right here, with uh, anti gravity seventy four said, "Imagine being an, imagine being an airport security, be, uh, just beating a passenger per policy. Then this dumb foreigner got a camera in your face. LOL. We, as a dumb foreigner in another country, I don't know what this camera in this airport security's face can do to me. I've seen travelers." go into Egypt and be detained for having their camera out. All sorts of uh, all sorts of security police officers hounding them like you can't record here and they take them in and it's like well, you don't know what could happen to you so it's like I don't know man it is what it is. Like you literally lied to me. I think it's good to just do your due diligence for each country cuz every country differs. All the laws in each country differs. That's why when Andrew Tate got on his platform and he was talking about, oh, the, the inconsistencies in, in policing globally, I'm like, bro, what kind of dumbass statement was that? Like, the statement itself was the most flawed statement. You're building off a fallacy. Of course, there's going to be inconsistencies in the way that they're, they're policing globally. There's different countries and different jurisdictions and how they handle themselves within their law. So it's not going to be 
oh, they're going to handle everything the way that it's going to handle in the States. Like, you're in a different country. you got to assimilate to their rules. I ain't got till 2.30 to check in, though. Um, hey, 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 hey. I don't know what they're saying. I don't speak English. You don't know what they're saying. You don't speak English. That's exactly why you should get the fuck away from here. You don't know what could have happened. This resulted in nothing. So ultimately nothing happened. He just got the footage and went off to the other country. But you don't know what could have happened here. This is not the risk you want to take just to get some footage of people fighting that you don't like. Come on, man. You're getting up close and personal too. You left this. Man. <laughs> Oh, snap the cops are Let me, uh, let me move. Let me go this way. Let me go this way. I don't want no involvement. Let's see how the cops are. Where should I be? I want to get out of the way. I should be over here. Trying to see all this shit. I'm more concerned about this guy. Shout out to Lee with the two dollar super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. Lee says Floyd must think he is an auditor back in the USA. Yeah, he's thinking he's running one of these police audits. He got too used to it. He's like, oh, I see a police officer. Let me run an audit. But that was prior to that too. This guy, he, I don't, I don't understand the mind of Floyd. I'm trying to understand the mind of Floyd will give you a headache. So it is what it is, man. Shout out to Lee with the two dollar super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. is happening here. This seems like I'm chilling. I know what I'm doing. Come look at the cops. They're coming through. There's another cop coming. Look at that. It's always weird. Don't worry, guys. I got till 2.30 to catch my flight. Don't worry. I'm all right. I'm chilling. I know what I'm doing. So we're gonna. At least these cops came effective and officially. Let me see. It's surprising that nobody approached him and told him to get the fuck out of there. I'm pretty sure they might have told him to go inside, but we can't understand the language. Somebody said that they told him in the chat, but 
I don't know. He's just following them being a pest. Let me stay there. Let me back. Bro don't got a telescope camera with See? some zoom. Just stationary and zoom that shit, nigga. It's been a while since I filmed law enforcement, man. It's been a long time. I'm gonna keep my distance. I'm in a foreign country, but this is great. Now, a lady approaches him and says, do not record and get out of here in X, Y, and Z. My Soon. Distance. Might have to fast forward to that moment because I don't know what he's doing here. He's just watching them stand and congregate around the police officer's car. So, TOS, a TOL, what's the name? I forgot. I said live, bro. Ain't nothing they can do about my stuff. Oh, I'm on live. Gonna keep watching my stuff. I don't want to get too close. I'm gonna want to get a little closer, but I ain't gonna get too close. Let's just stay right where this guy is. <laughs> we got some more people, right? Let me see what they got there. We'll see what they are. <laughs> Yo, that girl's like, what the fuck is this guy staring at? At least they did their job, though. At least the cops did their job right. That I'll give them. That I will give them. They did a good job. See, cops in America, what they'll do is they'll make things worse. These guys did a good job. I got to give them respect, man. These cops did a very good job. They took care of the situation quickly and swiftly. In America, they would have dragged it out. They probably would have made it worse. I think maybe I, maybe I'm, let me, let me, not, let me not get ahead of myself. My bags are behind me, Miss Jobs. This is gonna be a vlog essential. It has been a while since I've done this. You should. You're right. I will. I'll put that as a separate title. Alright, this is taking long. There's no progress here. Hold on, let me fast forward just a little bit. I'm gonna tell him to get the fuck out of here. This guy's blocking my path. Okay. <laughs> I'm always filming. Can you back up, bro? Can you back up? Can you back up, man? No, 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 no. Can you just back up? Because I'm filming. I'm filming, yeah. I'm exercising. I'm filming. Hey, bro, don't touch me, dude. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Hey, can you get him? Can you get him? Appreciate you, officer. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Yo, this guy's such an idiot, man. <sighs> now, they want Floyd to get the fuck out of here because they know that Floyd recorded them. And they know that he, one of them had, I think it was him. I think it was the guy that was approaching him. That he, he had his knee on the guy's neck. So he knows that he had this on tape. And he was like, wait, this guy has it. Get him the fuck out of here. I don't know. I'm presuming. I don't know for sure. Doing a good job. Now, if the cops tell me to go away, I'll go away. But I ain't gonna let no security guard tell me what to do. It's a good job, man. I like that cop. Let them do their job.
Now the security went into the back of the police car. Like I don't, I don't know what happened to him. I like that. That's awesome. Yikes. How you doing? That's what I like. You know, let them do their job. That's what they're here to do. Yeah, I know, man. I, I, I see. I'm going into my auditing mode. That's why I had to stop myself. I was like, by right, I stopped myself. I'm like, I ain't in America. You right. <laughs> I'm just keeping my distance, man. Let them do their job, and they'll do you. Wait. Wait, where the fuck they go? That's not supposed to happen. Wait, what the hell? I, I guess they come back around. What the hell? Hold up. Do it. So, and this is my last day here, anyways. I'll leave the area soon. Hasta luego. See, that's what I like, though. They do, they doing their job. This is what I like. American cops need to learn. They need to learn from this. Look, American police. If you're watching, if you're watching my videos, learn. This is how you treat people, man. They did a good job. Look. So, American cop, if you're watching this, this is how you do it. This is how you get it done. I'm so confused. What is he giving them credit for? They came and made a routine arrest after the security already apprehended the guy that was being violent. It's a routine arrest. They don't do this in America, Floyd. This guy just wants to disparage his own country in any way, but he's out here dusting it up, crying, depressed. Like, man, it's just like, man, Floyd... Shut your bitch ass up before I get to talking shit about you. But at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck about no American police. So Floyd, you can you can you can take that one at the end of the day, man. I like this. All right, guys, let's head back into the airport. Oh man, that's awesome. That's a good live stream right here. All right. Let's let's get him out of here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe. No, I didn't speak too soon. You good? That's awesome. Is the video? I'm pretty sure the video is great too, cause I can see it on my end, and it's great. All right, guys. So that was some. So guys. You know, normally I wouldn't film the police in a foreign country, but I just couldn't see that man get his ass beat and not film it. And it's not that I'm being disrespectful. I'd rather it be documented so he, people can get it and watch it later. So I'm currently in Chile right now. We don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. Uh, and we're going to Cali, Colombia. So my flight, I can't check in until 2.30. Um, stay tuned. I'm currently live on YouTube right now, watching it. Great. When did they, oh, there they are. Okay. So if you're watching this there live, they you're, you're doing a good job. And Hi. Uh, how you doing? Come on, stop. Bien. You, can, you cannot. Hey, uh, sweetheart, can you back away? No, no, no. You cannot. Uh, okay, that's fine. Me. That's fine. No, no, just, no. just walk away. No, no, no. I'm not walk away. No, uh, no. Please. 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 You cannot. Uh, I mean, just, me. just, just walk away. No, you cannot not record me. Uh, you don't police. have my authorization for public for for. Well, policy. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk away from you then. That's what I'm gonna do, okay? No. Okay. I'm gonna walk away. Déjalo que que se vaya. That's fine. I'm gonna Pero walk away. No I'm puedes gonna... grabarme. No puedes publicar uh, nada. And you gotta speak me. English. You gotta speak English. I don't speak Spanish. I don't speak English. Okay, I speak English. All right. You cannot. Uh, you you cannot uh, record me. Okay. And you record me. You, you don't. No importa. You don't ask for my permission, for my authorization, and this is in this country. Mm -hmm. This is not legal. Okay. Well, then walk away. Move, move away from me. Okay. I will, I will walk away from you. Don't follow me. Do, okay. do not follow me. Don't follow me. Don't, don't follow me. <laughs> so, 
It ain't my fault that she got in my camera. It's not my fault. Now, it seems like that woman is related to friend of or the guy that got arrested that that guy they, they belong to that 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 those those two women that guy knows them they know him he's related to them family friend husband i don't know but he's with them because they went up to the police officer as that guy got arrested so i think they came up to him to approach him for recording i don't know what the hell they were doing but that was weird it's like you're coming up to the man saying don't record you it's like he was standing it, that was a weird moment but shout out to yo fam with the five dollar super chat. Hold up, let me get this. I'm kind of rusty tonight. Hold up, chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. Another American going to someone else's country with that American entitlement. Shake my head. Coming from a guy with dual citizenship. Yeah, that's what happens, man. These passport bros, they're making the country look bad. They're making America look bad. They're making travelers look bad. They're making regular black travelers look bad. Not all passport bros are black, but a lot of them that are more the, the ones that are more visible on YouTube that are propagating the passport bros, the Austin Hollemans and the, the Floyd Wallace, namely, these folks are dusting it up to a point where they're making folks look bad. Making folks look bad. All this entitled fuckery. But we still gonna document. So I don't even know all three. Floyd's so entitled that he thinks he can walk up to a woman who is on the phone and just have a normal conversation with them on a cold approach shit. And if they don't receive him well, he will cuss them out. We've seen it. We've seen it. I've seen him do it. Conversation to film anybody in public. So. You literally walked up to me. I said, that don't make any sense. This thing reminds me of America. Like when I was doing audits in America, like they'd be like, don't film me. Bro, you literally walked up to me. It'd be different if you didn't do that. You know what I mean? Like. To be fair, they were saying don't film me and they walked up to him. He filmed a lot and a lot of them were telling him to not film and go back inside. He just couldn't understand it because he doesn't speak the language. So I don't know if he was actually allowed or not, but the officers didn't seem like they did anything to him, so he may have been allowed to. I don't know to make a uh, call on this. Let me get this. Because what they're trying to do is start up trouble, and I don't want to want on trouble really, but... Nonetheless, this is just a, a situation that as a traveler, you would want to avoid. There's no reason for this. You're not going to clip it up and put it on YouTube and try to make it a viral moment. That's not what you do. You're not world star hip hop. I, I, I don't get this move. It makes no sense. I got everything on film pretty much. Yes, I did. And I'm very happy about it, actually. So let's um, what happened to standing your ground. When it comes to security guards and law enforcement, yes, I will always stand in my ground. When it comes to women, you don't know the depth of their power. So sometimes you just got to walk away. You want me, to, want, me, want me to turn it towards you? Okay. Amiga, como esta? Muy bien. Very good, bueno. You speak English? No English? No, no English. You hablo poquito español. Mira, mira. Now watch what Floyd does. Floyd gives these women his YouTube channel. They're asking what's he doing? He's on YouTube. Is he recording? Yes, and he gives them their his YouTube channel. So these women that he he watch, watch what he does. Hold on. This is awesome. Look at this. El campeón del mundo. Telemundo. <laughs> bueno, bueno. Yo hablo poquito español. Sí, sí. Sí. Well, uh, YouTube. YouTube. You want to watch it on YouTube? Okay, I'll give you my channel. It's not it's not too big. YouTube. I'm live right now, yes. 200 viewers. I have 200 viewers. Not too many, but I got a lot of viewers. <laughs> it's not a big channel it's a small channel but it's growing that's all that means. so what he does as you can see ah shit the banner's kind of in the way 
But he hands them the phone. He subscribes to his channel. He didn't just show them the channel. He hits the subscribe button. Yeah. Subscribe, that's hand a, it back. That's a lie. Yeah. All right. See, lies. No, no, but no, see, get this. In Instagram. No, in YouTube. In YouTube. YouTube. So these women in Chile are gonna see all the fuckery that he does on his YouTube channel. Not the smartest move. YouTube. Adios. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Adios. Bye bye. Where do you go? I'm going to Cali. Now he's lost. He has no idea what she's saying to him. He wants he she also wants access to his YouTube channel. And he's just staring at the phone. He has no idea what the hell she's trying to communicate. <laughs> Oh, this uh, Lo Siento, amiga. Lo Siento. Sí. Búscate. Hold up, hold up. We don't care about none of this shit. And they kind of let you know what the hook was. The blood. Too far, too far. Gracias. Adios. Okay, so Floyd, let me let me explain why this was so goddamn stupid. He also did this in Brazil when he was walking the streets of Sao Paulo. He gave the police officer, he gave a police officer his YouTube channel. Saying, yeah, he'll talk and engage with ra ra random citizens. So he gave the police officer his YouTube channel. He walked down the street. He tried to say what up to that girl on the phone. She denied him. She didn't say nothing. She kept walking. He said, all right, fuck you then. This was minutes after giving the police officer access to his YouTube channel. He ended up clipping that and, and deleting that part of the, the live stream. Nonetheless, he'll walk around looking at girls' asses right after showing these girls his YouTube channel. He had the moment of... He had... Okay, so let me paint the picture for y'all. He's in Santiago, Chile. He gives these random women access to his YouTube channel. Says, watch his YouTube channel. He flies into uh, Cali, Colombia. The next day, he's on his live, dusting it up, begging his subscribers for money. This incident occurs. All right, I can I talk. We hope that it doesn't cost you time. What, Happy? Have you lost your mind? You know, and the way the way you you're such an eager and and gleeful flunky for for Austin is disgusting. Sitting there, smiling, showing every tooth in your goddamn head, and then you took another fucking freakazoid picture with, with both your thumbs up when you got to Cali. What the? Well, this shit is sad and pathetic to see, and it's like you don't have a backbone. When Floyd's around, you grow a vagina, and it's and it's like, why the fuck would I support a man who ain't gonna be a man every day of his life? When 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 Austin is around, it's like a, you you put a dress on. And that shit is crazy. And it's always my buddy Austin, my buddy Austin. I don't go off my buddy Austin. And it's like, does he? Do Normal men don't talk like that to other men. Do you get that? Yeah. That that, that 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 live you did with you with your pump. Now we reacted to the entirety of this in the beginning of the stream. If y'all haven't heard it, go back to the beginning. He got roasted by one of his callers, Black Rampage 2. That was hilarious. He cooked the living shit out of him. So you're giving all these women your YouTube channel just to see you begging daily and have your subscribers cook you in the comment section and then cook you on the panel. This is ridiculous. They're trying to warn him about Colombia. This is his, his Black Rampage 2 because he landed in Cali, Colombia. doesn't understand the, the dangers of Cali, Colombia. He thinks it's just in Medellin where they're getting scolopamine. It, it, you can still get robbed in Cali, Colombia as well if you're not moving on point. If, if anything, they say it's more dangerous. So 
They're trying to warn him. They're like, you're a bumbling idiot. You've gotten this far. You could potentially get God out here. Like, you're a walking lick. Let's get into this video right here. Because this is what's going on in Colombia. Hook is this. Crippin' ain't easy, but it sure is fun. And I thought about that in preparing for this video about the passport bros. Being a passport bro isn't easy, but it sure is fun. As depicted in this photo that you see before me, here we have a dapper black man with all of these haters upset that he's going. Black women, kids, and everybody else is upset that he is exploring his options. Yes, the camera loves your nastiness. Now, this is the way I have to go full screen. This I gotta remove myself in the chat from the screen. This is how they depict the passport bros. They're leaving. Oh, he's going to the airport. Your mama black. <laughs> you hate yourself. I need a stepdaddy. So these are the black, overweight, aggressive, angry American black women chasing the pristine businessmen. Valuable, high-value men, passport bros that are leaving here on this side. Overweight, fat American black women and, and white women, apparently. Mad at this prestigious, regal black man. <laughs> black man <laughs> who's leaving the country with all the options in the world. That's the way, <laughs> that's the way <laughs> they illustrate the passport bros. And then we see folks like Floyd. <laughs> like, what? That doesn't brush his goddamn teeth. Talking about, oh, I brushed my teeth the morning of yesterday. Meanwhile, you're at midday of the day after. Film on your teeth and gums looking disgusting. Haven't taken a shower, getting cooked by your comment section. Ungroomed. Like, what are we doing out here, man? And of course, the passport bros get hate in America. And videos like this pretty much signify the hatred towards them. All right, passport bros, step into my office real quick. Listen, I know that most of you guys have Peter Pan syndrome and y'all really don't want to grow up. And you guys like to live in this world of delusion. But here's a news flash for you fellas. The women are not mad that you guys are going overseas and basically participating in prostitution. What sisters are irritated about is that you go overseas and trick your money off and you're coming back home harassing sisters and telling them that they're undesirable. This American women out here are winning. They're laughing at me, bro. They made videos about me. They're laughing at me. These women don't really care that y'all are going overseas and basically being tricks and simps because y'all aren't desirable anyway. Most men who participate in the passport movement are undesirable. I know y'all gonna come on here trolling me, man, but facts are facts. So let's stop these false narratives in 2023. Let's go back to that picture. Now. One's in the chat if that guy was telling the truth. Two's in the chat if he's telling a tall tale. This was a total fabrication. He doesn't know what he's talking about. One's in the chat if that guy was spitting facts. Two's in the chat if he was talking out of his ass. Pause. Let's see it, y'all. Of course, we got them ones. <laughs> Men that are desirable, that have options within their own country, are not risking it up to get scolopamined by a bunch of hookahs. Yeah, I can't say that like that, that motherfucking, that weird guy. I can't remember that nigga's name already. Yo, they, folks in my chat wanted me to co-sign that guy for, for, for trolling Austin. And I'm like, do you even understand who this guy is and what the type of shit y'all want me to co-sign? That's what I always find so funny when I react to certain content. Folks would be like, oh, co-sign this motherfucker, elevate him, say X, Y, and Z. I'm like, why? What the fuck? And then if I do a co-sign a motherfucker... People will be like, oh, you're co-signing this person? I can't believe you, LT. This person did X, Y, and Z. And it's like, what the hell, man? You can't. You're damned if you do, damned if you don't. 
but it is what it is. You see this man, looks like the future is bright and where he's going, it's a lot of opportunity. And of course, it could be a lot of opportunity, but also where you're going, people are looking to use you. It's very possible. You see, when you come out of your house every day or you're walking around every day, you don't know who's watching you and you don't know who wants to set you up. What do I mean? Well, on the flip side in America, you're hated because you want women to be more submissive and that you want to leave. But when you get there, you're hated that you have more money and a lot of local women would want to talk to you. On What? On the flip side in America, you're hated because you want women to be more submissive and that you want to leave. But when you get there, you're hated that you have more money and a lot of local women would want to talk to you. On either side of the fence, somebody dislikes you and because... Hold up, chat. Hold up. Hold up, chat. Hold up, chat. Why are the white girls in the lingerie at the bottom looking like this and then the heavyweight sumo wrestler black girls at the top looking like, what the hell is this? Plantation bros? Passport bros? What the hell was that? Who are you, Snoop Dogg in a green room? I mean, what? What? going on i didn't even see that at first what the hell is this this is some filthy work out here plantation bros the folks that stay in america they're the plantation bros and the passport bros and why are they all beckys what is yo this is this is wild man as of that we've had eight passport bros killed in colombia in the past three months I want to take this time to honor them as many of them have lost their life looking for a better way in other countries. But of course, before we get into that, the story that really got all of this bubbling for me was in 2022, we lost Timothy Revel Reed. He was a man that decided to go from Atlanta to Barranquilla, Colombia. Well, and of course, this is what happened. I did it, I did it, I did it. I have my apartment my restaurant and two other apartments in a great location for the restaurant on a very really busy busy street we got one thing well several things accomplished now is the next move is to um open the restaurant hold up chat hold hold the fuck up chat these likes are dusty as shit what the i did not i did not take in the likes what, what's going on chat can we get these damn likes up? These 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 likes are dusty as shit. We're gonna take a brief com commercial break because these likes are egregious at this point, bruh. Like it's it's really that bad. Like I'm probably gonna lose some viewers taking this long ass commercial break, but we gotta get these likes up, bruh. It is what it is. I'm gonna hit y'all with some of that elevator music, man. We got a lot more to react to, but we we gotta get these likes up. These likes are fucking dusty as shit, man. Holy, holy. Who are these niggas? <laughs> Yeah, 
Man, these likes are free. It is quick and easy. And still, we got a bunch of hate watchers today. We got a bunch of hate watchers. Yeah. You know what? It, it is what it is, y'all. Oh, yes. The camera loves your nastiness. Let's get back into this. So hopefully that will happen very shortly. Um, get ready for cute spicy ribs and fish. As you can see, I am tired. It was a stress, y'all. I'm not gonna even lie. It was very stressful. Uh, the language barrier. Um, he don't trust me. I don't trust him, but. I mean, I had more trust in him because I gave him all my money. Uh, but he was, you know, looking to see if shit was real. I mean, it was just, just, just too much, just too much. Had to get his family members out of the apartment. Still got to get the one upstairs out the apartment. That story right there really caught my attention about what could happen to you in Colombia. But then there is 59 year old Gregory Stewart Owens. He was gunned down in Cartagena during a robbery attempt in October 2023. But then there's this young man, Johnny Jerome. He was only 45. He was found dead in a jacuzzi in a luxury suite in Medellin, November the 2nd. He was killed the day after celebrating his birthday with a cousin and two women he met on a dating app. Stop the show. It's like everybody, you're getting killed everywhere in Colombia. Folks are getting, passport bros are getting killed in Cartagena. Cartagena? I can't, I can't pronounce these goddamn things, man. I'm, I'm, I'm dusting it up. Mm. Medellin. Cali, Bogota, doesn't matter. It's like every city they're getting killed here, man. This is crazy. Let's talk about these dating apps. It's getting so bad that the United States government has said this to Americans using dating apps in Colombia. A warning for people using dating apps in Colombia. Apps are being linked to the recent deaths of several Americans visiting the country. Let's unpack this. In the last two months, eight American tourists have died suspiciously in the Colombian city of Medellin. The now, what Floyd and Austin did on a live stream I remember it, it was, I believe it was when they were in Romania. Austin also did this again when he was in Argentina. He was on a dating app, swiping left and right on live stream for six hours. I've seen him do it. So these guys gotta be careful, man. You spent six hours swiping right and left, looking through all these options when you were in Argentina. I hope Floyd doesn't continue that bullshit when he was in, when he's in Colombia. That was Austin that was doing it, not Floyd. But I don't know what he does on his spare time, man. So this, you gotta be, you gotta take heed, man. US Embassy in Bogota have said some of these victims were drugged and robbed after meeting people on dating apps. Criminals use dating apps to lure victims to meet in public places such as hotels, restaurants, and bars, and then later assault and rob them. They said. The embassy has also said that this is part of a broader trend and that there has been an increase in incidents involving the use of online dating apps to lure victims, especially foreigners. They didn't disclose which specific apps. They have encouraged visitors to be vigilant and to maintain heightened situational awareness. And it goes back to my point of the crime being targeted towards passport bros when they come to Colombia. And this was very summed up by a good YouTuber called Life with David about how American men are being targeted. It's a very profitable business. It's a business in Ah, uh, not this video again. Ah, oh, fuck, man. Have y'all have you seen this? Can y'all put a one in the chat if y'all seen this video? I've reacted to this video in the past. O'Shea's put this video in a couple of his videos. Shout out to O'Shea. I'm reacting to O'Shea's video right now. But this, I've seen this too many goddamn times, man. One in the chat if y'all seen this. If y'all haven't, we'll play it. It is what it is. Very profitable business here in Medellin. Scamming foreign guys. Females scamming for foreign guys here in Colombia. In Medellin especially. And it's not just females. It's not just the females doing this. These are groups. These are what they call bandias, right? Local gangs, gangs up in the neighborhoods that, or this is organ, these are organized groups that are doing this, sending out the females, finding the females, and 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 when those females like trap those guys, they have one or two guys in the groups waiting for them to help them out if they need help. It's an organ organized effort, and because. They saw that it was successful because tourism is picking up and a lot of foreigners are coming here and with a lot of money and a lot of guys coming here because of those certain reasons going up to, up to those kind of girls, they saw the success, they saw the easy money. So what happens? More people, more groups start copying 
and start implementing the same strategy, the same scam. Let's go back to Philip Mullins. He's a 32-year-old Tennessee man found dead in a room at the Upscale One Million Suites Hotel in Medellin after a night out with a woman. Now, this particular man is the only Asian man on the roster. Tu Jir Shong. He was from Minnesota and his story went worldwide. He was beaten to death with a blunt object after he had been set up from a woman he had been dealing with for a long time. If you don't remember that story, here's a news clipping. Tonight, the family of a Minnesota man desperate for answers after they say he was kidnapped and killed while visiting Colombia. I'm out of words to describe. I just, I don't even know how, how I feel right now. 50-year-old Tu Zhang, an artist and activist, had been traveling in South America <coughs> when he called his brother asking for money. Now, I'm just going to take this moment to gloat one more time. To gloat. I've seen him do it. Nothing related to this guy's death. RIP to this guy. But remember when O'Shea said Angela was racist because she said uh, ha had an opinion about passport bros and how they were dusting it up in X, Y, and Z. And now to come see O'Shea on his platform lament the fact that there's white passport bros, there's Asian passport bros, there's black passport bros. It kind of brings it back full circle to the fact that he was wrong about that and I was right in my defense. Shout out to O'Shea. No malice for O'Shea, but, you know, I just got to take this... this, this uh moment to gloat and you know show off the fact that i was right about that so um shout out to me <laughs> yep shout out to brother lttv this is the equivalent of high-fiving myself publicly yep i just also went outside but it is what it is let's get it while on a date sunday night this time he was like hey you had a couple of thousand i was like mm, yeah no problem and when he wanted he said i want it now i'm in this, in this bit of a situation here i go oh uh, yeah i can do that his family growing more fearful when Zhang stopped responding to texts. Woke up in the morning at 7 a.m. I text him back and say, hey, I thought you said you need money. You still want the money? Text me back if you still want the money. No answer. According to a local prosecutor, Zhang was kidnapped during a date and killed when he could not make the payment. His body later found in a wooded area covered in stab wounds. His family still searching for answers about how this shocking crime unfolded. I was confused. I, I, to be honest with you, I don't know why, you know, what the motive is. Zhang had visited Colombia in the past, posting photos and videos to social media as recently as October with an unidentified woman. I'm with my girl. A refugee from Laos, Zhang and his family moved to St. Paul when he was a child. In recent years, he became a well-known comedian and community activist. Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar issuing a statement saying in part, quote, this is a heartbreaking tragedy. Tuzier was an incredible person who was constantly working to uplift his community. He truly believes in equity work and fighting for the underprivileged. And many times I always tease him. I say, you know, you're not getting paid. Why are you doing it? But it's what motivates him. A tragic loss made even more confounding by the mystery that still shrouds his final moments. And he'll draw everybody in. That's the type of people he is. Four people, including a minor, were arrested and charged in Zhang's murder. November 13th, Texas resident Jeffrey Hudson was found dead in his hotel room with at least 20 stab wounds to his neck. He was killed after returning to his hotel suite with an 18-year-old woman he met in a dating app in Medellin. And Wait, why are you meeting an 18-year-old? How old was this motherfucker? What the hell? Hotel room with at least 20 stab wounds to his neck. He was killed after returning to his hotel suite with an 18-year-old woman he met in a dating app in Medellin. And there are many other stories here, unfortunately today, that we will not cover because I believe now you get the hint. But the whole gist of all of it is this. Black men, understand where you are. You might be disliked and hated in America for wanting what you desire. A woman who's feminine, a woman who gets it, and a woman who values you in a relationship. But you gotta understand where you're going is also dangerous. Let me tell you a story. I was telling SPK, who by the way is editing this video today, that I was walking down the street about four days ago. It happened to be late. I was on the phone and a motorcycle driver drove past me. At least it's what I'm believing. Now, the roads in Uganda are quite narrow, and I'll tell you why. If we could post a picture of what the roads look like, you would see that a lot of the roads are so bad, they've fallen off. So, you know, you can't walk in the ditches. 
But what that does, it creates an opportunity for a motorcycle driver, we call them Boda Boda people here, to steal your phone. Now I was walking, I had my phone in my hand, and I felt like the guy didn't have enough room to take it. But when he came you know, uh, towards me, I just decided to maybe clench my phone a little tighter. And when I did, the guy tried to snatch it. Now let me just say this, the snatch from the guy was so strong, it almost broke my pinky. All right, now at first, I didn't feel it because I was enraged and I was telling the guy to come back and all of this. But the reality is, is that, hey, that guy could have got the phone. But it's not just that guy could have got the phone, right? Because even if he would have got it, I could always get a new phone. The issue is, that probably was a person that was watching me. And he knows me, I don't know who he is. Because in the community that I live in, he might have been seeing me go here or go there. I don't really move out so often. But hey, guys stalk you, guys watch you. They know, hey, you're from America. And when times are hard, this is how they can get you. Now, this is different than the organized gangs that are dealing with ladies, but it just goes to show you that not everybody is happy to see a foreigner or an American. And it's hard to make friends when you go to different spots when you go to different places. It's difficult. And that's something that we got to really understand is that when you're someplace, you're looking for people to show you love and give you parity, but they might not do that. They feel like, well, you're an American, not even that you're black. You're an American, you got goods, I don't have it. So because you have it, I should get it. That's plain and simple. And if we don't understand that that is what the case is going to be, that's exactly what is going to continue to happen. So guys need to understand that not everybody is glad to see you when you come to these places, man. Not even the women. Not not saying that you can't find women, but hey, a lot of folks are not happy that you are there, and for them, you very well may be a means to an end. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy all Shade Duke Jackson, back at it again. I really appreciate you for all that you do. I'm out. Now shout out to O'Shea for that video. What else we got here? Like you wouldn't do you wouldn't be able to for the, 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 the stuff that happens when they put in your drink, that would never that would never happen to me. Because one, I don't drink. And then they can put it in pop and lemonade, but guess what? I'm so paranoid, I won't even drink nothing in front of you. I won't eat in front of you. I won't drink like how I eat. I got my food over here. I'm by myself. I'll eat by myself in my home. If I go on a date, I'm not I'm not eating anything. Or if I do get something, there's going to be a bottle of water, water and a salad. Does he understand that these women are putting scolopamine on their neck and in their makeup powder and shit and a dude will kiss their neck and try to get romantic with them and all of a sudden they're sleeping and they wake up the next morning like all oh, their shit gone and shit realizing that they got scoped. It's like, bro, and he said the word never. Hey, yo, man, it is what it is, man. Like, I'm I, I I don't play with the word never. It finds a way to kind of reach you when you say never. But I be focused on food. The moment I look away... Like this, I'm done. If I look away from my food, or like this, I'm done eating. I'm done drinking and I'm done eating. Because why risk it? Well, that's just wasted money. Yeah, you know what else is wasted money? Hospital bills. Losing your life over something that can be avoided. Now it depends where you meet them at, but you, know, you gotta be real. You don't know a person's intentions. You don't know a person's intentions. So you gotta be prepared. But you can't be prepared for everything. And this is what they're mad about on his channel. He's cameraed up. He's sounding more confident. He's talking about, you got to be prepared. This won't happen to me, X, Y, and Z, on Austin's channel. He comes back to his channel. He's getting cooked. So this was a presentation about a lot of things, folks. We're going to get more in-depth when it comes to the killings and the, the, the passport bros dying globally. Really and truly... We got to get back into this statement right here because this was hilarious to me and this was so cap and this is not what the Passport Bros is at all. This goes back to the O'Shea video when it comes to this depiction, this illustration that they try to present, this drawing. Hold up. Where, where, where the fuck was that? Where was that picture? Hold up. Child. Where you going? This shit. Hey, yo, come on, I was just here. What the fuck, man? How's there an opportunity? But facts are facts. Are so let's stop on, these man. false narratives in 2023. Let's go back to that picture. You see this man looks like the future is bright. Okay, so there's not, I don't have the two-part picture. Nonetheless, Austin Holloman ended up pretty much lamenting the fact that he was just trying to live his life in his 20s, having fun globally, fucking women. 
That's pretty much what he said. I just want to fuck these girls globally. I just want to date. I'm not looking for a long term. I'm not looking for a wife. This kind of shits in the face of the premise of the passport bros in the first place. These new age young passport bros are not what the older passport bros actually represent or try to represent. Because these guys really just want to go across seas and go find easy pussy. Whether it be hookers, whether it just be easy, accessible women that just want some sort of money for to facilitate their life, livelihood because these American dudes have more money than them. Whatever the case may be, the whole narrative that American women are difficult, they're aggressive, they're masculine, they want to lead, they want all these negative things. They're not wifeable, they're not marriageable. These dudes aren't looking for that at all. They're capping. At least the folks that we cover, it's not that at all. They use the passport bros as a grift, as a way to travel have fun, make money off of YouTubing, and not do the conventional YouTube job where they're at, they're in their own country and they have to create content and concepts and certain things for folks to actually gravitate towards. So it's like, let me travel on your dollar. Peso Man said it to Austin Holloman. They live vicariously through Austin Holloman. Austin Holloman links up with these girls globally and these incel nerds live vicariously through him by spending money so he can travel. Floyd is out here begging, and they're not living vicariously through him because they don't see that in him. So it's looking real bad for Floyd. I'm going to play this one more time since this is deleted, and he actually got cooked through this rant. So anybody that came in late and didn't see this in the beginning, watch Black Rampage close out the show by cooking Floyd. If anybody wants to call in, join a panel, have their opinion on this, debate me about anything, the call-in link is in the description. We are forming a panel if people call in i'll end the reaction and we'll have a discussion about various things i know it's very late but nonetheless the panel is open it's linked at the top of the chat got it hey man i'm, I'm gonna send you ten dollars for this because i ain't, i don't have nothing nice to say to you you know I, I'm, I'm 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 disgusted by how you treat your chat um when you were austin <laughs> You smile like a retard. You're, you're chatty patty. You know, um, you're full of engagement, but you come to your 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 your, your audience, and all you do is beg, and um, you know you're preoccupied with other dumb shit. You know, if you sneeze, you want us to reimburse you for the toilet paper. Um, you know, and it's just disrespect. You know, like I said, I'm gonna send you ten bucks for this rant. But, you know, yeah, I, I'm just sick of you out here looking like a fool, um, ungroomed, awkward, fucking weirdo, you know. And when you get in front of Austin and, you know, he's he's basically Austin Christ to you. And when you get in front of him, you know, you, you adjust your bra and the shit is just disgusting. So I'm going to give you $10, you know, um, but you got to show your, your crowd uh, a lot more respect. Or even just a, a modicum of respect. You come here yawning, farting, tired. Yeah. I, didn't, boy, I didn't fart, dude. No, I heard you fart. Two God miles. damn it! I'm I'm so I'm so fucking sick of you passing gas on live. Anyway, like like I said, you know it's just it's just disgusting. And uh, you know you got to understand, man. Motherfuckers is giving you, making sure that you're straight out of pity because everyone that's watched you knows that you're a goddamn fool and you keep going, putting yourself in fucked up positions. You don't have the money to do all of this globe trotting. You should have took your ass to the Asian, sat there and tried to figure it out. Or you, should, you know, you shouldn't even left. You should, you, you, to leave the country to live, you would need at least five grand and a plan. You don't have shit and you're hoping that we pity you enough to give you some shit and all you do is disrespect us. Every time you fucking come across an experience expense we got to reimburse you like we're your fucking boss now imagine giving a bunch of women your youtube channel in colombia in brazil in chile talking about subscribe to me watch how i live i'm a traveler i do x y and z for them to subscribe and listen to you get barred down and cooked by your own audience for dusting it up or your company you know like we gave you fucking uh um, what's it called? Petty cash or whatever the fuck they give companies give employees to. Hey, sp here's the card. Go spend it, and we'll and we'll pay it. And that's just disrespectful. 
Because when Austin is around, man, you you you, you got your mother, you you got your you, your best fucking uh, church hat on, and you sit there and you give him all the fucking entertainment he can digest. You change your voice. It's disgusting, Floyd. Well, let me see you this ten dollars, man. I may come back on and you know give you some more motherfucking work, but you're you're pathetic, dog. And 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 it's just it's just sad because you ain't got to be this way. You keep traveling, looking like a homeless fucking vagrant, and you know all of that is deliberate. You don't have to look that way. Grooming? Did you have you bathed since you left uh, Chile? I took a shower. I don't believe that. I... I'm dead. I'm... You know the fact that they don't believe it too, because the man is dusting it up constantly, looking like it. Looking like he's homeless and shit the way they describe him is fucking hilarious. Shout out to, uh, to Michael Jamal with that $5 super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. Michael says the best thing about the rant is he only pushes back about the fart. He's getting cooked. That's facts. That's the only thing he defended. He's like, I don't fart. Everything else, he's like, yeah, it sounds kind of true. So he just shut his bitch ass up, man. That's horrible. Floyd the whole time was just sitting back like, God damn. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> But shout out, shout out to Michael Jamal with that five dollar super chat once again. I'm getting rich. Ah. All right, let's get back into this rap before we close off the show. So dead. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't believe that. Oh, I mean, you can believe whatever you want, man. I don't believe that. <laughs> All of that is deliberate. You don't have to look that way. Grooming? Did you have you bathed since you left uh, Chile? I took a shower. I don't believe that. <laughs> I, I'm dead. I'm so now, the reason why he doesn't believe it and the reason why this guy's laughing so hard is because he said it with no conviction. Yeah, I took a shower and he was caught saying this on tape. Clip it, nigga. When did you, br what was the last time you brushed your teeth? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Um... Lala Papa says, what does Floyd even look like? So this is Floyd's dream. This is why they're cussing him out, because he's not showing himself. He's always uh, not. He's, well, not always, but he's not camming up a lot of the times, and he's just coming out begging. Meanwhile, when he's on Austin's stream, let me just timestamp this before I get back into this, because I'm going to play the rest of this out. When he's on Austin's stream, he looks like this. I'm done. This is Floyd to the right. This is what he cams up on. I look Austin away from my food. Oh, like this. I'm done eating. I'm done drinking and I'm done eating. Because why risk it? Well, that's just wasted money. Yeah. You know what else is wasted money? Hospital bills. I don't believe that. I, <laughs> I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't believe that. Oh, I mean, you can believe whatever you want, man. So. Man, I don't know what that's about, bro. When now imagine doing cost of living videos, but you're not doing the cost of living for yourself. You're basically going to Manaus, Brazil, or Fortaleza, wherever he was at the time. When you, he, Actually, both of those cities he did cost of living videos. For women, the tour guides, the tour guides that he was seeing. So he did cost of living videos for them, spent money on their groceries, came back to his chat with his hands out like, more we need that super chat we need that cash app oh no no not super chat cash app i need that money in my pocket right now type shit so builds resentment with his fans you, they're you, like you're just tricking off on these girls uh, on these tour guides you're getting depressed over them they're one night in you pretty much because i don't know what the hell happens after you guys get intimate according to you but it's just looking real bad. His fans aren't having it anymore. You get around Austin. I don't know. I, maybe you just feel like you're embedded to him. I think that's what it might be. Like Austin helped you out, and you, you just want to constantly return the favor and keep that relationship tight. But bruh, I I I remember one time, my mic wasn't even raspy, and you were like, "Hey, your mic," and I'm like, "I know Floyd did not just raise his voice at me." But when you get around Austin, bro, you be like. You be you be doing the most you wanna like you wanna please him so bad or or please his viewership, bro. Yeah, that's brother starving. Yes, sir. What do you, what do you think about that, man? Uh, I think that's a false narrative. I mean, we are friends, but that is a false narrative. And I, I went on his live to show support, and I had nothing else better to do, literally. 
So I decided to go live to let people know what was going on on his channel, which is nothing wrong with that, really. Uh, as far as yelling your voice, I apologize. I shouldn't have did that. All right, I should. I, uh, I apologize. Right? Yeah, yeah. You don't gotta apologize. I'm just. Get, I'm slightly giving you a hard time. Like I said, I'm not as funny as Rampage, but um, let me tell you, you got. You cannot, for you cannot um get an apartment on any first floor in South America. Period. Because you will get cockroaches. Yeah, that's what I got going on here right now. Unfortunately. That, there is no common ground. Don't ask me that question. Because you will get cockroaches. Yeah, that's what I got going on here right now, unfortunately. Oh my god. Oh my god. See, I didn't I, I've listened to him get cooked the entire time. I didn't even realize that he said he also had cockroaches in Chile. He also got a, a an apartment or an Airbnb on the first level again in Chile. So he made the same mistake when he was in Fortaleza made the same mistake in Manaus. This, the, the thing about him is that's so bad and they gave him advice. I'm, I'm going to let this play out. But he was in Manaus. Manaus is the biggest city in the rainforest in Brazil. It sits in the middle of the rainforest. There's no real major city outside of Manaus in the rainforest. you got to take a goddamn ferry to the next major city. Then you got to fly to Fortaleza if you want to get out from Manaus. Like, it's in the middle of the rainforest. The biggest city, the, the only large city in the rainforest. There were so many things that you could have spoke about in relation to the being the only city in the rainforest and all the different things in museums and all the... There's so much things to explore in the city, but he was just too, too focused on tour guides and the random chicks in the city. Like, I I don't understand it. For a travel vlogger, there was so much more he could have capitalized on. There is no common ground. Don't ask me that question. I don't where know are you from? The United States? Yeah, where am I from? The United States. I'm from Texas. How about that? I mean, that sounds like common sense. If a person asks yeah, you, I'm from, from, I'm, from, I'm from Texas. I, I, I'm a climber from Texas, so I'm from Texas. Okay. I mean, as simple as that. Are, are you doing okay? <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. I'll let this play out. My bad. I keep stopping this. This is a funny comment. <laughs> cockroaches don't go upstairs. Nah, it's the likelihood. You're, you're more likely to have cockroaches or rats or whatever on the basement or the, the, the ground level of any apartment in any type of hood or, you know. I'm Mentally, chilling, are you, are you doing okay? I'm chilling. What's going on? I'm tr I mean, I'm trying to figure out just like everyone else. There's a quite a bit followers of yours, subscribers. We're concerned for you, man. No, you're not concerned. No, yes, hundred percent. No, We're concerned you're... for you. I'm I'm doing fine, buddy. I got it figured out. I'm doing all right. Okay. So, anything else? No, I I can just tell that. You, you just, you gonna have to learn on your own. I just hope it, that it doesn't cost you your life, to be honest. That's what, yeah, that's the main that's... concern. We... Shout out to Mo D with the $2 super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. Mo D says, broke guys doing broke crap. And it's facts. That's facts, man. If you're going to be really be balling out here, you're going to really sell people that you're the successful, desirable, high value man and the women in your country ain't keeping up and you're looking for a sweet, submissive baddie from Brazil You or, or anywhere else. You'll be in a high class luxury suite. You'll be in a penthouse somewhere. You'll be living it up. You won't be dusting it up in the favela, in the barrio, and wherever the hell you stay with your cockroaches and shit. You wouldn't be dusting it up like that. So these passport bros really need to reevaluate this marketing. They really do. We hope that it doesn't cost you your life, buddy. Sounds Honestly. like a threat. Sounds like huh? a threat, buddy. You wanna no. you wanna come over do you wanna come over and do something to me or what? No, you're already doing it to yourself. You're self destructing yourself. Goodbye. Fuck off my shit. And this is when Floyd had comprehension skills because he never threatened him at all. He just said, hey, you, you hope it doesn't cost your life the way you're moving so oblivious and stupid through these streets with no goddamn awareness and all the dumb decisions. It's like, I hope you stay alive going to Columbia, sir. It's like, come on, man. You don't want to take anyone's advice. You're just running through these streets like a crash test dummy. These guys are concerned. That's fine. I'm New York. Tell my girl in the club. You're the type of nigga to set a person up. The fuck off my stream, man. Yep. Okay. Who the fuck do you think you are threatening us, talking about you ain't going live? What what do what what effect do you think that has on anybody in here's life? 
You know that that's cutting your nose off to spite your face? You need to cut that dumb shit out. That shit don't mean nothing to us. We'll go to another fucking channel. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to go live. Oh, I'm only going to go live. You're right about that. Man, who the, what, what, what the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers sit here and dedicate their time to you. Their view is all they owe you. This, this this other shit is icing on the cake, and you're sitting here talking shit, acting like you are a fucking pappy. Have you lost your mind? You know, and the way the way you you're such an eager and and gleeful flunky for for Austin is disgusting. Sitting there smiling, showing every tooth in your goddamn head, and then you took another fucking freakazoid picture with, with both your thumbs up when you got to Cali. What the fuck? This shit is sad and pathetic to see. And it's like you don't have a backbone. When Floyd's around, you grow a vagina. And it's, and it's like, why the fuck would I support a man who ain't gonna be a man every day of his life? When when, when, when Austin is around, it's like a, you, you, you put a dress on and that shit is crazy. And it's always my buddy Austin, my buddy Austin. I don't go off my buddy Austin. And it's like, does he, does, normal men don't talk like that to other men. Do you get that? Yeah. That, that, I get that, 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 that like, yeah. you're a victim. There mm. oh, we go, CSI. Oh, you did with you with your pom poms on, and you put on, you, you had your, 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 your shiniest lip gloss you could find just to sit there and pucker up to Austin. That shit is disgusting. And I'm not an Austin hater. I respect what the young man is doing. I got nothing but love for Austin's channel. But to sit there, because it's never Batman and Superman. Y'all ain't super friends. And y'all ain't, you got, a, you got a, a very bad habit of just easy. Yeah, man, I've already seen this in the beginning of the reaction. I was I, I was going to I was gonna wrap up the show, but I'm like, yo, let's, let's play this again for the folks that haven't seen this. And that part right there got cut out because I was recording this. He, he deleted this video. This stream was completely de deleted. I had to record parts of this as it went on so there's there's some pieces missing here for the folks that just came in here and didn't see it in the beginning dismissing people you know because what you'll do is instead of offering any type of resistance you'll just agree and then at that point the conversation's over it's like okay uh you're right about that and then it's like nah the, the motherfuckers are sick of giving you this type of medicine i want to root for you floyd but you're becoming unlikable with this always every time you meet an expense every time anything comes your way you come to us with your motherfucking uh tin cup out talking about governor governor can i have another people sick of that shit you a man dog it's and, and, and it costs money to be a man you talk this red pill bullshit but you don't live that shit and i'm just sick of seeing it because you can do better you don't have to be so goddamn pathetic you choose to be this way. You well, out, you out living your life. You a young man. You ain't got no kids, but you doing shit fucked up. You are depending on the kindness of strangers. You are not unlike a fucking bum. What's the difference between you and the motherfuckers that be begging on Salvation Army on Christmas? Nothing. Hey guys, uh, I just came across this. And do you plan on reimbursing motherfuckers? When they reimburse you, are you going to reimburse your donators and be like, hey, man, I got my money back. We square. Hell no. Yup. Yup. That's y'all plan on doing that. When I get the money back from the airline, you'll get it all back. Oh, man, if you don't get the fuck out of here, you know you need that. <laughs> well, that just because I need something don't mean I won't reimburse. Listen, you you, you make no, no I'll make it all out. No, I already said that this form of item line, and I said I wouldn't want to get the money back. I wouldn't reimburse. I said that in the airport, actually. So I definitely missed that because I'd be yeah. I'd be trying to miss some of that shit because I don't be try I don't I don't need the the motherfucking headache because I'm sitting here supporting, doing the best I can. <clears throat> excuse me, to make sure that a young brother ain't out there stranded. But you make it hard, and 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 again, everything you do, you do it the imbecile way. And I'm like, damn, how did you even figure out to fuck this up? <laughs> like, when you ran up and videotaped that fucking uh, beat down in the airport, what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you completely oblivious to, to, to the situation? You look like a fucking... <sighs> Man, and again, you, you, you recorded the beat up, you had it running with, the, with, the, with, with their security, and then the actual law enforcement, was it even fucking worth it? I mean, was it was it even worth? You know how that how quickly that could have turned the other way, just because you want to run up and be in the mix for what? Nothing wrong with you, man. 
It, 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 it serves no purpose. It's just you not reading social cues. You already look homeless. They already have, they're already racist and colorist, and you fit every fucking stereotype visually, and you just want to get in the mix in front, in front of motherfuckers that you don't even speak the language. You don't even know what they're saying around you. Use your fucking brain. Yeah. You're right. Right, of course I'm right. I'm right about that, right? <laughs> well, I've already told you what my plans were today, so we're going to... And, and again, off. and again, you you got Papa John's pizza today? Yeah, it was like fifteen and, bucks. You know, you, 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 right, right, right. See, this is what I'm saying. Because when it's Austin, you'll tell you'll tell Austin what the toppings were. You'll tell him how many bites it took to for per slice. But when it's us, you have nothing. You want to take out the trash. You want to complain about roaches that we didn't put there. You know, these these Airbnbs they have reviews and all this other shit. You always go for the for the cheap way out. And then you want us to come and reimburse you. Now, now you had us, you had Papa John's. How was it? This is conversation you could have with us, man. Oh, it was pretty all right. It wasn't that bad, bro. I mean, can they can make be pizza? better? Can they make pizza in South America? I mean, this is shit you can yeah, talk they about. Could. They could. make. What, see, I'm, I'm, uh, they can make pizza in South America. Is it? Was it good? You know, I'm giving you ideas to have. Everything is a conversation, but you won't even talk to us. But you'll show Austin your whole motherfucking butt crack. But you come over here and and, and, and it's stick together. Pause. No, she can have it. Pause. You see what I do when I got the rock. Pause. Let me just put this in real quick. This is Daniel, Pause. by the way. Shout out to Mo D, but the five dollar super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. Mo Deep says, I don't know this Floyd person. Is he mentally retarded? Totally serious. Um, I don't know. I thought he was on the spectrum. Seemed like it. Didn't get any confirmation. Somebody in his chat section pointed that out and said that to him. And he was like, nah, not at all. He was saying that he was educated. He was a smart guy. He knows X, Y, and Z. He's not on the... So he was never diagnosed. I don't know if he was actually... If he, I, I don't know. I really don't know. He's literally lost. He has no social awareness. A lot of the passport bros are him. They're a little less obvious. The problems aren't so apparent, but they're they lack social cues. They lack social awareness. They're not successful within their own country, within the women. They don't understand how to operate and how to maneuver. They don't really have a social circle. That's a lot of them. A lot of them are old, dusty, out of out of shape. They don't see themselves. And it's like we try to tell these passport bros, you guys aren't as competitive as y'all think you are. But, you know, it is what it is. Big fuck y'all. Hey, pay me. It's fuck you, pay me when you come to us. Oh, I mean, so that's, that's not what I'm saying, man. Not, oh, okay. No, my thing is, if you're going to wear a dress for Austin, wear a dress for, for us. You know, if you want to uh, sit here and, and, and shine shoes, shine his shoes, shine shoes over here. I mean, if that's how you're going to do it. But but it's, but it's, it's tough Floyd here. And it's Mrs. It's Mrs. Wallace over there. Yep, that's exactly what it is. But when it comes to okay, so I'm a rate. I'm gonna put on a rating system. I'm a three or a four. Austin's an eight or a nine. A... Clip it, nigga. Stick together. Mm-hmm. Pause. So that, that's all I'm saying, man. Think about think about where your bread is buttered, man. You know, yeah. and, and you're, you're just you your 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 the way you bow and kowtow to him when you don't even have to call oh, out. I'll, I'll be there if you are. You're my buddy, Austin. My buddy, Austin. I'm happy to be here. You change the way you talk just to sit in front of It's just, it's crazy. And I'm just giving you a heads up. I'm probably the, the most, the, the voice of reason over here. Cut it out. All right. I'll cut it out. Hey, man, you, you chopping up. I think the roaches are chewing on your, your Colombian Wi-Fi. You there? Yeah, I'm there, man. I said I'll I'll, I'll, I'll change. I'll, we'll, we'll work on changing my ways. All right. Yeah, well, I know that's that's your data way of, of 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 ending an uncomfortable conversation. Just agree with every single point so that it gets to the end, so the pain stops. But uh, that may come. Out. Oh shit, yo! They didn't give me a notification for this one. Oh, there it is. There it is. Shout out to trending with Sharice. Welcome to the chat pass. 
I'm getting rich. Ah. Shout out to the members. Everybody that grabbed the membership, we will have a uh, members only stream before the end of the month. So shout out to Trending with Sharice for becoming a member. Let's get it, y'all. Back up and give you some more pain. I want this to sizzle. I want the chat to cook you as well. And uh, I, may, I may come back up. I'm, I'm not done with you, Floyd. You're disgusting. <laughs> All right, now, do your thing. And this is when he starts crying. Read the chat, y'all. Listen closely. People just... People are just... Oh no! I don't get it. They want me. That's okay. I got it. No, I'm depressed because this shit is annoying. But you know what? Fuck that. Men can't have feelings. When he said he's depressed, I heard depressed. What? Aren't you a passport, bro? Aren't you living it up? Aren't you shitting on everybody left in America, left in their own country? with their aggressive masculine women while you're partying it up in every country you go with, sliding in all these feminine women's DMs. Like, ooh, depressed. Passport, bro, you're traveling the globe. You're supposed to be living it up. How are you depressed? So, just got to thug it out. We just got to thug it out. I'm tired. Just got to thug it out. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. Mm -hmm. You're done. It's pretty bad out here for a man. It is pretty bad. Clip it, nigga. Married women out here are winning. They're laughing at me, bro. They made videos about me. They're laughing at me. Nobody would disparage Passport Bros or have any negative opinion for the Passport Bros if it wasn't their own marketing. If they were every other travel YouTuber, the check and effects of the world, the Kurt Kazes of the world, those type of folks, or even th there's some travel YouTubers that are th th focused on the food, like Mikey Chen, goes from place to place, country to country, and eats their finest dishes at their five-star five hotels. Passport heavy that goes to the nicest places in Africa, not one of those pass not one of those travelers that go to the the most run down places the the you know that try to make the the country look like this dusty third world country, not folks like that like folks like passport heavy that folks support because of the way he shines a light on the good places within African nations or any other place that he goes to. Show what they really look like outside of the marketing of the bullshit they they try to feed us. There's a reason why Meek Mill's dumbass is talking about how do they how do they stream music in Africa, and I'm like, what Meek Mill? Haven't you been to Nigeria? Like, what the fuck are we talking? Like, I don't know, man. Certain some like some folks are just lost because of marketing and they don't see things properly. But there's Things you can capitalize off of as a travel vlogger because people within their own country don't know anything outside of their own country. So when they see other countries, there's a way to enlighten them and broaden their perspective and let them see different things within the culture, the food, the environment, what whatnot. But these guys are just focused on renting these hookers. And it's like, bro, like, what the hell is going on, man? I don't know. And it, all, it also comes back to disparaging your own kind. If they went out there, passport bros were living it up, a bunch of young brothers going out there living their life. If they weren't disparaging the women of their own country and then ending up with dusty results, they just throw these results in their face. If you go from, I don't even know all the countries he went to, but if you go from country to country and you complain, he complained about Romania. I don't even know why he was there. He complained about Poland. He complained about Argentina. He complained about a bunch of countries with a, well, a lot of white folks, to be honest. Nonetheless, you're still complaining about these countries after disparaging um, America. He complained about... What else didn't he like? This motherfucker's just complaining all over the globe. Every country he goes to, oh, this ain't it. The girls are, are standoffish. Oh, this reminds me of America. 
Everywhere they go, it's like, oh, this is Americanized. And it's like, no, it's just modern, you stupid motherfucker. A lot of these places have modern technology and modern things, mon mo modern uh, appliances, modern decor. These motherfuckers hop off the plane. Oh, this is Americanized. And it's like, bro, what the hell is wrong with y'all? Do you not know anything outside of your own region? What the fuck is going on? It's just modern. It's not Americanized. Especially when it's their own it's their own cultural specific item, but it just looks brand new and modern. They're like, oh, it's Americanized. And it's like, bruh. Mm. God damn. God damn. Call-in lines are still open, y'all. This has been a very long show, but if y'all want to voice your opinion on anything, speak on any of these topics before we wrap up the show, the call-in lines are still open. The likes are still dusty. Goddamn. What are we at now? Okay, we at 80. We can get to 100 likes, y'all. What else is on at this time? Y'all niggas is laying in your bed. But ass. Watching this show. Come on, man. Hit that like button, man. Wait, what? If he's complaining, that means he's autistic? Nah, not... Not... T nah. Nah. Display of lack of social cues and social situational awareness. Yeah, we, we get that, but the complaining, he just lacks masculinity. That's what it comes down to. That's what he's complaining about these women being so masculine in America and not being feminine enough. This nigga is just a bitch. This nigga is just a bitch. That's why he's always complaining. It's always someone else's fault. He's unaccountable. He's just a bitch. That's why he's complaining all the time. Weak ass motherfuckers complain 24-7. They can't do anything to effectively change their life. They can't, you know, be intentional with their decisions and make changes. So all they do is sit around and complain. It's always someone else's fault. Oh, these girls are X, Y, and Z. These girls don't like me. These girls are hard to approach. It's like, my nigga, you didn't brush your teeth since yesterday morning. You haven't showered. You don't got a lineup. You look like you're homeless. You got a bag on this that's twice the size of your actual body. What are you doing out here? Like, you look like an idiot. So I guess that's why you're saying he's this way. But there's a lot of people are just losers. A lot of people are just straight up dweebs. They don't get it. They're socially awkward. And they were just, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lot of folks. Sometimes regular folks will think that's some sort of mental illness for them. It's like, nah, they're just that damn lost. And it's always different seeing unprescribed adults are undiagnosed adults that actually may be on the spectrum because it's like they they might look like this, but we won't know. We don't know. They were never diagnosed as a kid. They could have been, but we I don't know. Even though when you ask that question, I'm making all these other concessions to what it may be. I, I don't know, and we won't know. You got this headphones dead. Hold up, chat. You're a vic okay, it didn't connect. God damn. Yeah, chat. I think he's just emotional sometimes. <laughs> like, you think solo TV is an undiagnosed bipolar? Do we see two different personalities or we just see somebody that reacts sometimes very reactive. It's just like he can go from zero to a hundred. Something might piss him off, and he might be emotional. And just I don't know. Some people anger quickly too. It might not just be your emotional, because you might only exhibit one emotion, and that might just be anger. So I don't know, man. I don't know Solo that well, or not as well as I thought I did when until a, a certain. I I don't know, man. I I, I don't know him that well. Some people are also, when some people talk about socially awkward, I think some people are just socially uncomfortable sometimes. A lot of people are very introverted, so they get put into an extroverted field and they don't really know how to act and they're uncomfortable. Now, you can have complaints. But when you're complaining all the time about everything, 
oh, American women are X, Y, and Z. I got to leave. I got to become a passport, bro. These girls everywhere else are so much better than these westernized American women. Okay, you go somewhere else. Okay, these women are a problem. Okay, you go somewhere else. Okay, these remind me of American women. Okay, you go somewhere else. Oh, these women are standoffish. You go somewhere else. Okay, the language barrier is too tough for these women. You go somewhere else. Then you realize, wait a minute. Maybe it's me. But they don't ever they don't, they don't ever get to that point. Kevin Samuels has complaints. I don't know if his pl- his complaints were valid. He made good points. But complaints, a lot of the times complaints aren't valid. You might have some good points in your complaint, but if you look at the other side, cuz when I look at dating, I see people that mirror each other. I see the men calling out the women, and it's not like I'm gaslighting their issues with the women. Their women do the the problems that they have do exist. But when the women look, say that they have their problem with the men, the men act like their problems don't exist either. And it's like, oh, you guys are doing the same thing to each other. And y'all don't see your own problems. Y'all don't see where each other is failing on each side. I see that a lot when we talk about this Western dating shit. I see folks that really think that they're better than each other. I see the women literally think that they're better than the men. Think that they're smarter. They should be leading. They should be doing X, Y, and Z, stepping on the men's feet. I see the men thinking that they're much better than the women, thinking that the women are overrated with their 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 their, their education and their finances, and they're they're responsible men and they know the way. And these women are. They, it's just it's a bunch of imbalance. It's a bunch of people thinking that they're better than each other. There's a bunch of adversarial shit going on in the dating scene, especially online. But most of this shit resides online, and nobody's gonna get the damn answer online the answer is offline but nobody actually wants to hear that shit like literally nobody wants to hear that shit the folks with the answer are not trying to come online and get get their their relationship scrutinized and destroyed by the online mess and and the trolls and the people that create fuckery create create insecurities within their relationship, create doubt. They don't want to do that. So the people that actually have the problem, the, uh, the, the, the answers, the functional relationships, they also get shot down too. They'll say something right, and then the people that they've been dusting it up and have all the wrong pro- all the problems in relationships, they see that and they, that they don't know how to compute what is right. They're like, that's so foreign to them. That can't be what's right. That's not what you should be doing. That's not what will fix their issues. They just they refuse it. So it's not really going to be fixed. A lot of the people that create the problems in the adversarial environment within relationships reside online. It's that small minority that continuously and perpetually dusts it up. Incels, femcels, angry people, bitter people, jaded people all reside online and feed into the same thoughts. If you listen to any of these Manosphere panel shows, they're consistently complaining about the same problems. Nobody wants to offer a solution. Nobody wants to check out. They just continuously talk about the problems. When somebody talks about, oh, this is a way to do X, Y, and Z, another person comes back with, oh, but this is this, and uh, and they start complaining about something. It's just like, oh, my God. I don't know how folks watch that shit 24-7. Sign up for a membership, call into the panel, complain, spend all their life on these panels instead of going out, meeting new people, interacting with people, forming relationships. To me, it's all asinine. It's all bizarre. I spend a lot of time talking on air because this is my job, nigga. I'm getting rich. Ah. But y'all don't see me dusting it up on panels. Y'all don't see me on panels for so long just wasting my goddamn life. I'll do collabs with other YouTubers and look out for their platform. But outside of that, it's like, come on, man. Do we have more of this? That's all. Okay, that was it. I played that already anyway. This was kind of a circular reaction. I enjoyed that rant. When those guys, I I don't remember laughing that hard watching something. The first time I watched this on air earlier in the stream, and I've already listened to this when it was when I was recording it too. When I knew Floyd was gonna delete that. There's certain things now on YouTube. I've reacted to so many things for so long now. I could literally anticipate this content creator ain't gonna live with this. This content creator is gonna either private this shit or put it on members because it's not a good look. I know when it's going to happen. I'll, I'll literally be watching something. I'm like, yep, I can see this. So I'll grab out the phone, the screen record. I got the moment, sir. It is what it is. This is live, bruh. 
I got an I got a DM from somebody. They brought up a moment that I already remembered, and I brought up on the stream. They're like, "Yo, this 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 happened to Floyd when he." When I was describing when he cussed out that girl for denying him. Somebody from his following sent me a DM describing that very same scene. Also wanted me to send me some deleted footage that because Floyd deleted more than what I got. There's something he deleted today as well. But these are all bad looks. But the thing is about the internet is once it's out on the internet, it's there. It's there. It's out for. It's out there forever. You can delete it, you can private it, you can put it on members. Somebody already has it. It's always too late. Once it's out on the internet, it's out there for good. That's why live streams, you got to be very, very calculated with, with your rhetoric during a live stream. And sometimes when you're trying to get all entertaining and you're trying to uh, emphasize points and, you know, go off the cuff and do random stuff and pretty much improvise bits and improvise moments to make it funny and entertaining for your crowd. You got to be aware that somebody going to clip that shit and you're going to end up on somebody's show and you might get cooked. Clip it, nigga. Mary Corbin out here winning. They're laughing at me, bro. They made videos about me. They're laughing at me. Clip it, nigga. I'm going to say, yeah, man, I'm, you know, I'm just so happy you came on the chat. No problem. Very happy about that. Just yeah. let me know when you're when you're ready to go to bed, and we could, you know, it's, it's up to you. Stick together. Mm -hmm. Pause. Clip it, nigga. When did you? What was the last time you brushed your teeth? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to everybody that hit that super chat. Shout out to Alicia for hitting that cash app. Shout out to Alicia. Shout out to uh, Trending with Cherise for joining the membership. Shout out to Alicia also for joining the Day One Blunt Squad, upgrading that membership. Shout out to y'all. I'm getting Shout out to everybody that hit that like button. Shout out to the subscribers. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With that being said, we are going to wrap up the stream. We do not have any callers anymore, so I'm going to close the call in line. Even if you were 15 minutes late, the show... Oh, if you were 15 minutes late, the beginning... The, to me, the beginning of the show was the best part. I could not stop laughing. Just listening to that conversation for the first time, hearing Floyd get cooked by his own subscribers. Black Rampage 2 play, paid $10 to, to basically just bar him down and let him know what's real. I think... I think moments like that, although they're funny, and they could we, we laugh at the content creator for getting quote-unquote cooked... And some people may look at that as like a detrimental moment. Those are some of the most needed moments in life. Sometimes somebody has to pull you aside and be like, look, nigga, this is what the fuck you doing. This is where you fucking up. This is X, Y, and Z. So shout out to Black Rampage 2 for that. I think sometimes, even though some people may not have the thick enough skin to accept the truth and handle the truth, it needs to be spoken. And it is for your benefit when you actually are able to listen to the things that are harsh and critical of yourself where you'd be like, you know what? That's true though. That's true. Shout out to y'all. We wrapping this up. We out. Yeah.